All right. Stop. And we're back <laughs> at the stop and chat. I don't know what's going on with my intro today. Ooh, we have a special returning guest. Mr. Mike Sinclair is with us. Made it back. He's back. But this time I didn't have to drive. And there's way less candy and treats here, or not in your background this time. I blew it. I should have decorated my set. <laughs> That's true. That, that would not have been hard. I actually thought about going to uh, go buy a bunch of stuff, but... It's too risky. You gotta stay inside, yeah, man. I don't need the diabetes here. I gotta no. tell you, you are the only episode that we actually redecorated our set we we bought three balloons for tony hawk you know what i mean we bought three <laughs> balloons one zero zero and for you we went to the store and bought like four hundred dollars worth of candy and we went to the store whole, like three or four times oh it was embarrassing it was the most embarrassing thing i've ever done <laughs> embarrassing yeah raja's like you need to go get more <laughs> Rick kelly have you ever gone up to the register with a right. huge cart <laughs> all full of candy just sugar yeah but think about how embarrassed you were but i've been embarrassing myself for like 20 years doing it <laughs> <laughs> it's not even you know what it's still embarrassing you when you're like you're like you know people are buying lotto tickets and people are asking for whatever and and then here you come with all your bullshit you're like I'll take these Cool Ranch. I'll take these Lemon Heads. I got this cupcake. I got a Arizona iced tea. Oh, Gatorade. Oh, wait, there's seven for a dollar. All right, let me go back get the other. <laughs> it's just you just have a just a bunch of shit for no reason, sir. Do you really need twenty Skittles? Yes, yes. yes. You do. <laughs> That's everyday life, though. For you, I mean, for me, it was just. I mean, it was it, it was embarrassing. But uh, I went through the self checkout line. You know, oh, and yeah. people and the, the person that was working, you know, they have the little like, you know, it's like a little clicker thing or whatever. Yeah. Staring at me. It's just staring. I don't, like, I just, don't do the self checkout. I hate the self checkout. Oh, it never it never works. I've never <laughs> done it. I've never done a clean, clean self checkout. Well, you got to be you got to keep going. You got to get used to it. No, I'm, 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 I'm totally, man. I'm weighing my shit. I'm scanning it. It doesn't scan. I'm, I'm pushing in codes now and everything. It's like I work there. I'm totally used to it. I just you don't just like do it. it, it and then someone always has to come over and, and be like, yes, it's nine Skittles, not seven. I don't know why this <laughs> one doesn't work. You're like, hey, my ninth pack of Skittles isn't weighing <laughs> on the thing. So what if there's like a 10 minute wait and then, or you can go right away to self checkout? I'll wait 10. <laughs> Every time, because <laughs> then you're in the you're in that line for ten minutes, and you're like, "Did I get everything I really came for?" Uh, all right. If you're in too much of a fucking rush, you're gonna get back to that car and be like, "You know what? I should have got more skills." <laughs> <laughs> a ten hour drive ahead of me. Oh. That's right. Yeah. So you were. How does that feel, man? You're the only person that we've ever changed a set for. It's well, incredible. I'm, yeah, I I appreciate it. And um, I got to keep you, you guys let me part with as many snacks as I could take. I couldn't take that many, but I those lasted a while, man. <laughs> <laughs> lasted Raj a while, too. He was like, yeah, he set up a candy stand outside of the house. <laughs> trying to sell, sell it, get our money back. I bought myself a van. That's crazy. That was episode 50, right? 50, 5 0. Where you, where are you guys at now? 187. Well, 187 with Steve O. We got 188 on the yeah, whenever. That's where we died. Yeah, whenever we can get back. <laughs> yeah. To the same things. I guess that was what, three years ago? Huh? Something like that. Yeah. Two and a half. 52 Two and weeks and a year. Feels like about four months. <laughs> <laughs> Still sweating out that candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where are you right now? Are you in North Carolina? Are you back home? Where, where, where are you at right now? We, we can never I, keep track of you. I'm in uh, San Diego. I'm in Vista right now. Oh, okay. So. Were you just back? Weren't you just back I, in uh, North Carolina? You were skating some warehouse with Bob. Yeah, so so I got a long story about where I was at. Uh, so we have, we have time. All right, so I went, what did I do? I went, um, uh, I went to Tampa Pro, right? Okay. I, I drove out to that, and then people flew in for Tampa Pro. The world was totally normal. You heard a little bit about Corona, but you're just like, oh, okay, you know? Yeah. And then... Tampa happened. You're hearing a little bit more about it. And then on that Sunday when it was over, we, we left on Monday. We, we loaded up um, 
we had an all girls trip to Miami mm-hmm. with, with Nike and we went to Miami and a couple days in, like we were getting texts from people like, are you guys good? Like, and we're like, what do you mean? And just like, just, you know, normal people checking in on us and uh, more and more people were talking about Corona and we're just like, what? what's happening? You know, we were just looking at spots. We were skating. You're just trying to skate. Yeah. Man, when you're on tour, then, uh, you don't really keep up with the new, the, the current. No, not, not at all. And then I, I, I took all the news off my phone when Trump got elected because it was stressing me out. All the crazy updates, I just couldn't take it. So I, right. I, I didn't know what I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. So we're just down in Miami and all these people checking on us. And then that trip ended on March eighth. And by the eighth, we all heard like tons of people talking about it, people being careful. So like we we're like, oh man, I hope everybody gets home safe. And then on the ninth. I was supposed to drive from Miami to Orlando and meet the Tomietto guys because they were already en route to meet me and they were going to go on a two month tour. They were going to go yeah. every, everywhere. So wow. I was going to, I was going to join them for, for quite a bit, but not the whole two months. And, um, and so on the, on the ninth, they called me, they're like, Hey, the van, like we're having some van issues. So, we're probably going to be on there on the 10th or 11th. I'm like, okay, no rush. And I stayed with Schaefer in Tampa for a couple of days. And then <clears throat> on the 12th, that's when the whole, that's when the whole world changed. Like New York was getting locked down mm-hmm. or close to it or whatever. It was like changing like by the hour. So like, I think on the 11th, we talked and we're like, Hey, like, I don't think I'm going to meet you in Orlando. And they're like, yeah, we're not going to go to Orlando anymore. And I'm like, where are you guys going to go? And they're like, we might turn around and drive back to California. And I'm like, dude, you guys are like trips off. You do, do whatever you want to be safe. So Dakota's family moved to Atlanta. So they're like, we're going to go to Atlanta. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm not going to meet you there. I don't, I don't feel comfortable. I don't know what's going on. I'm going up to Carolina. So I drove past them. I went to North Carolina and ended up just, uh, stressing out for a little bit. And then two months went by and then I was in Carolina, just at, at my place. I have a, a, another place in North Carolina that I go to and nobody's there. It was just me. And I was just tripping for two months and, uh, <laughs> just and by yourself, just solo, but we, no, no dogs, no girl, just, wow. just in a place like just kind of sounds like a good vacation, but, uh, what, <laughs> <laughs> but Bob lives close by. You weren't even seeing, you weren't even seeing Bob. No, no, I, I, I take that back. So like nobody's in the house, nobody's in the house with me. Like no one's, there's nothing, nobody there. So my mom came over, we, we hung out in the driveway. Like we didn't even hug, we didn't do anything. Um, and then I would go meet Bob. Would you hug Bob? No, no, <laughs> no. Uh, no, okay. no, no, no Bob hugs. But like okay, okay. we would, we would skate probably three to four times, maybe a week. But like when I first got there, he was skating with the crew. And I was like, mm. dude, you, you're tripping. And then I was like, hey, you want to skate? Just just me and you, nobody else. I know it's fucked up because you got your crew, but like, I'm just here stranded. And he wouldn't answer me. So then I was like, shit, I think that I don't think he wants to do that. <laughs> so, so, then I was like, <laughs> so then I was like, hey, how about how about like me, you, one other? And then Bob's like, I got this bitch. And I don't remember if you saw this bitch and they brought it out. And I was like, I can't skate this fucking bench. And then, <laughs> He, so he had this bitch for 10 years so we he cut it down and then he he brought it out to the session and it and it's 11 and a half inches high now and it was perfect so he basically brought a curb yeah he brought a he brought a uh plastic curb uh, out and we were having a, we were having a blast and then and then we were having so much fun like we were just forgetting about it that like you know other people were like hitting hitting us up like the fuck are you guys doing and we're like damn yeah what are we doing I was like, I feel safe because like I would skate with Bob like an hour or two and then it would be me, Bob, one other person in a, just in an empty parking lot. And we would, we would stay like, you know, 15 feet away from each other. And Bob would even try to show me something on his phone. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to see it. (laughs) So like we would just try to stay away from each other. Just try to be smart. And then it, then I was there for like, I think it was nine weeks or something. I was like, I got to get home. Well, what's this warehouse you were skating? Oh, this warehouse was a, a friend of ours that uh, he works on cars. And right before the virus hit, he mm. like changed locations. And they're only 500 feet away from each other oh. to, to switch the yeah. warehouses. So he hadn't moved in there yet. He's like, yeah, I got this warehouse. And 
you guys can put a curb or two in here and we're like dude that's oh. just like yeah so that okay. was our savior right. that was our that was our little barracks of our own our little tf that was our that was our spot two obstacle barracks yes right. uh, remember, remember the og barracks when it just had like a flat bar and a maybe when a quarter fun so like a yeah. little manual pad i think too that was fun that was a that was fun man yeah mm-hmm. mm. that was a fun spot i think the roof caved in there right <laughs> something no, that, no. That, the roof caved in the office. office the uh oh. cement truck came through the office but the but the og barracks was fun i mean yeah. not that the not that the new one isn't but like just sometimes those less, little less is more having those modular yeah. things is kind of fun sometimes yeah. yeah yeah i agree what's going on with the back are you gonna are those paint swatches back there you're gonna paint your room right yeah what color are you gonna paint yeah this room? it's like a cool gray or, oh yeah uh, i need you guys as advice hold on <laughs> 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 he's getting his paint swatches from he's got yes. taped up to the wall so, so when I, when I moved in here, the, the place like i didn't pick this brown or whatever this brown is the whole upstairs is brown it's, so it's, like, kind of a, it's, it's, not, it's like a potato br- yeah it's not really yeah a, it's, it's, got, it's got potato. a little potato yeah what, what do you guys go with i knew it was a cool off? fuck i knew it was a cool yeah. blue cool slate cool slate okay gray well, I, turn the, was, oh, I like gray the gray marble. marble i like gray marble yeah Ooh, and that's, it's going to be dark. It's going to be dark with the gray. I'm going to go. I think I'm going cool slate. Ooh, but how about a little camp, cool slate. a little campfire ash? That's Ooh, nice too. Yeah, it sounds oh. nice. I'm a, I'm a fan of the cool slate. Cause it's not, take, a, it's not white. It's not gray. It's in between. So that's room. That's won't a, be too dark. Oh, you know what? Um, maybe get some crown molding up there, bro. I'll paint that <laughs> yeah, it's, white. It's, it's coming. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's coming. And how long have, the, have those paint swatches been up on the wall there? What are we looking at? Uh, a month? Two months? Oh, no. These things have probably been there about four years. <laughs> 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 I didn't even know they were there. I knew they had to been there for a certain amount of time. Oh, yeah. They've been there for quite a while. I know I know. you just didn't go to Home Depot and pick those up. <laughs> no, uh-uh. <laughs> I don't even... I'm too nervous to go to Home Depot. I'm too nervous to go anywhere, man. I'm, I'm locked down. I'm so taking this... I'm taking this serious, real serious. I'm not, I'm oh, like ahead. tapped out of everything. Well, how was it then you had to drive from North Carolina back to San Diego recently then, right? It was awful. Did I, <laughs> I posted on my Instagram. Did you, any of you guys see that? What, how I did it? No. What happened? I don't know if I did. Wait, so what, was, I, what was different about it though? It's just a normal drive though. This is right? on the road. It's, yeah. Well, it, it was normal. Yeah. But it was totally different. Like I've never done. So like, it's just me freaking myself out. Right. So like I, I was like, how am I going to get back? I was like, I don't want to stay at a hotel. I don't, I'm not going to fly. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to go in and eat anywhere. I'm not going to like hang out with anybody on the way. Like I was like, so I was hurt for you, dude, for, for a couple, yeah, for a couple days. I'm like, how am I going to do this? And so, so I called a bunch of friends and I kind of lined up places to go, but I, I was like, Hey, I don't want to come in your house. I want to sleep in your driveway. And they were like, <laughs> They were like, what? And I'm like, I'm taking the seats out of the van. I'm sleeping in the van. I just need to like park in your driveway for a couple hours. I'm trying to like just get home. And they're like, yeah, like no problem. So the first night, I, you know, before I left, I was like, oh, wait, um, my buddy wrote it. He just bought a house. But like his house has like a studio apartment uh, below it. And I'm like, hmm. dude, can I be the first one to stay in the studio? No one's been there. And he's like, yeah, come on. So I went and stayed in Rodent Studio. Before he even woke up the next day, it was gone. Where's he and living now, Rodent? He lives in the mountains of North Carolina. He lives oh, in sick. Asheville. Oh, wow. Yeah. wow. That was like just four hours, right? So I drove four hours, stayed at his house. Mm-hmm. And then my goal was to get to Arkansas. And I uh, hit my buddy up, Nick, that used to run the skate park out there, uh, Border Town. And uh, he's like, yeah, you could. I just got a place you could stay in the driveway. And I was like, all right, I'll probably be there super late. So, And I was just fucking just hauling ass, like not eating. I just stopped for gas and would put on the glove, get gas, keep going. And then I was like, dude, it's five o'clock. I'm in your town. I I, I can't stop. I just got to keep going. And then I was like checking the map. I'm like, what's in like five or six or seven more hours. And I'm like, Oklahoma city. And I was like, Clint Walker, I'm like, wow. <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, I'm not doing shit. And I told him what I was doing. He's like, dude, you can sleep in my house you can sleep in my driveway you can sleep behind the skate shop you can sleep sleep in our old rv i'm like say no more i'm on the way so like i'm like i'm going to clint walker's place and then i get i get to the skate shop and i'm like oh this is the the skate shop that he's that he's like hanging out at is like i've been to this skate shop you know i didn't even know that it was the 
shop that I've been to before. But uh, what shop is it? It's called like Core. I think it's just called Core Skate, Oklahoma City or something. Okay. But um, in beside the shop, like the shops here on this side, Clint Walker and um, fuck, what's the what's the gnarliest BMX guy from back in the day? Matt Hoffman. Matt Hoffman. So. Clint Walker and Matt Hoffman are, are opening up a weed dispensary right beside the skate shop. Okay. And then the on, on this side of the skate shop, Clint Walker's girlfriend is has a Pilates studio. So they have like three things next to each they other. They own the block. Wow, they own the block. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so when I got there, I was like, hey, Clint, good to see you, but I need a bathroom. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, this has been like 10 hours. Was, yeah. I, I'd have to, I'd have to, do the uh, the the mileage, but way way more than that. Okay. Okay. So I get to I get there, and um, he's like, "Hey, it's my girlfriend." I'm like, "Hey," and I was like, and then Clint kind of disappears. I'm like, "I gotta uh, I gotta use your bathroom." <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I handle the, the business, Pilates and then I, uh, yeah, and I walk outside, and I was like, "Dude, this is chill." Like, I was like, "How late do you guys stay here?" He's like, "We stay till like three in the morning. We're like working on everything," and they were they were chill. So like. I stayed super far away from him, but I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to sleep. It was like midnight or something. Mm -hmm. And I woke up at five in the morning and then took off again. And then I was driving and somewhere was like detoured because of the virus. They blocked off something. So I got to, I got to Phoenix and my buddy called me and they're like, Hey, what are you doing? I was like, I told him what I was, what I had going on. He's like, dude, where are you staying? I'm like, I'm going to stay at Jaws's driveway. (laughs) I get, I get to Phoenix and I'm like, it's a hundred degrees at night. Like I can't sleep in the van and I can't sleep when it's, a, I can't sleep when it's fucking 80. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so I can't even sleep when it's 75 in this house. <laughs> so I get to Jaws's and I'm like, Jaws, I can't do it, dude. I'm going to have to keep going. I can't stay there. So he's like, dude, you could come inside. I'm like, I'm not coming inside. So, <laughs> Because Jaws is one of the dirtiest motherfuckers I know. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen like his fingernails? They're like, it looks like he's been oh, working yeah. on like a, a car for his whole life. Like he's just, <laughs> he's fucked. You can scratch like a homeless person's back. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's so nasty. But So you're he, thinking uh, like the not the best place to stay in a pandemic. I was like, oh, I can't stay inside Jaws' house. Not because of Jaws' fingernails, but I'm just like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going, I'm not, the whole point of this is I'm not going inside anywhere. I'm not using a public restroom. Right. I'm not doing any of this stuff. So my buddy, uh, Andrew calls me and he's like, my dad has a, uh, like a warehouse where he stores all his computer stuff. And he has two offices that have air conditioning in the warehouse isn't air conditioning, but you can pull your van in. You can do this. I'm like, can your dad meet me there? So his dad met me at, at his, at his place of business, let me in gave me the key and was like lock up when you leave and he wow. left so i stayed there and then i made the, the the drive home in the morning but the the funny story is is that um i'll have to send you a, a photo so you can like put it <laughs> so you can edit the show and yeah, see yeah, it yeah. but i i took a camping chair right okay i took a camping chair with me because i was thinking all this shit in my head i'm like i'm gonna have to shit somewhere <laughs> I'm not going I'm not going in anywhere. I'm just I, I refuse. So so I cut a hole in the camping chair. Nice, dude. <laughs> and then s- somewhere somewhere in the middle of the desert, I don't know if it was Arizona, I think it was New Mexico is where I was at. And I was just driving. I'm like, dude, I know I can make it to Phoenix. I know I can make it to Phoenix. <laughs> and then I was like, oh man, here it is. And then like I just pulled off the road and backed the van up and opened the back doors like this. So like you pull it in, you open you the back a little doors. shield. Yeah. So there's my shield. I set the toy. I mean, I set the chair, the camper chair right there. And then I just was like, just took me like a seriously, like two seconds. And then I, I looked at the chair to make sure there's no, not <laughs> over the chair. I folded the chair, threw it in the car. And then I'm kicking dirt over my turns, like a fucking animal on the side <laughs> of the road. And then straight to Phoenix. Now that I think about it, though, if you're sitting in a chair that looks like it's camping, it's just got a hole cut out. That's kind of a good cover. Like yeah, nobody would but. really think that you're taking a <laughs> shit. No, no. But you know what? I, I thought the same thing. But the thing that makes you nervous is n- no matter what you're doing, no one can see you. But like I, I, the van door only goes down so much. Right. So people passing by, if they could see me, 
which I'm pretty sure a couple people may have seen me, they they could see uh, pants down by the ankle. Oh, pants <laughs> down. I forgot about that. And you're in the sitting position. Right. And you have a long turd hanging down the bottom of the chair. <laughs> That's, that could give it away, too. If I was wearing... Well, no, even if I was wearing shorts, I guess you could just pull the short... The, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, it's almost a great once. cover. There's a technique. Though. It's it. almost a good. Yeah. You only did it once the whole time. Uh, only shit once. Yeah. Did you, did you keep oh the chair? I oh, still got the chair. Good. Okay. <laughs> Making sure. Uh, it comes on every tour now. I was thinking, yeah, that chair. I should get like a tripod bag just in case. But like, <laughs> and it's like emergency chair. Right. Because <laughs> yeah. Blake Blake Carpenter has shit like everywhere that we've been over ten years. Everywhere, every skate spot we've ever been to, Blake's like, "Ooh!" And then he's like, "He's back in two seconds." I'm like, "Now I can just like grab the chair." <laughs> it's got handles, right? You need to like uh, makeshift toilet paper roll on yeah. the on the the side of the handle. Yeah, yeah. It's just got like a little um, a drink holder, but yeah, you could you could yeah. rig, rig that up. Okay. You need a bucket with like the trash bag. What's that? Oh, I ha- here's what I did have. So this was even nastier. I'm like, "Am I gonna do that?" And I'm like, so I got like a a bucket. So I cut the hole. And then I put a bucket underneath it, and then I put um, like a trash bag in it. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to shit in the bucket. Right. I'm going to grab the thing, and then I'm going to throw the thing out somewhere. <laughs> but I'm like, but then I was like, when I got to the desert, I'm like, dude, it's just dirt. Just, <laughs> what, am I, what do I need this bucket for? <laughs> I always thought it, you know? Well, I'm glad you made it back, man. That sounds quite the adventure. And what was the time period from, from takeoff to uh, arrival? How long? Three days? Four days? It felt like forever because I didn't eat. I only oh. ate what I brought. I brought a couple, like you know those those is, what are they called? Like snackables or what? The the little lunchables? No, the little uh, peanut butter jelly sandwiches in a bag. <laughs> Uncrust un- uncrustables. Yeah. yeah, I had like I had three uncrustables. You have them in your back pocket? No, <laughs> I had three <laughs> three uncrustables. I had like ten of the little um, push pops. Nah, man, I wish the uh, the little uh, <laughs> what do you call the little granola bars, and then uh, I, oh, and then this, then this, I was like, dude, this is perfect because I've done this before. Chips and salsa, just had a bag of chips, and I had the salsa in the cup holder, so I'm just driving, and, <laughs> and dipping, and just rolling through the desert. But uh, but uh, that was it, man. No red vines on the dash. No, I hadn't had a red vine, and dude, you know, I haven't had like a sizzling plate of fajitas or red vine. <laughs> In so long, it's killing me. <laughs> the sizzle, sizzle is your thing. You go get you whenever you go to a, a place that serves the fajitas. You get the you get the sizzle yeah. plate every time. And we're talking chicken steak combination of both chicken. And sometimes okay. I'll get the shrimp on the side. But sometimes yeah. chicken steak and shrimp is just like you go. You gotta make your mind up. I'm just going chicken. Chicken's always good. Are you getting Postmates at all? Did it once. Not into that stuff or what? It's still somebody that's touching your food that's bringing it to you. Random. You, you know what? Like turned it off for me, and I won't say that I won't do it again. But um, so when I was in North Carolina, I was like I said, playing it super safe. I'm like, I'm gonna do Postmates to this my favorite pizza place, right? So I did Postmates, and then um, the place is only like four miles from from my house out there. And then uh, so they're like, your your order won't be past 50 minutes right i'm like i'm not even concerned about the time i just want this pizza right <laughs> so, so this lady texts me and she's like you gonna have to cancel your order and i'm like what and she's like there's a she's like there's a line and i ain't waiting in this shit and i'm like i'm like isn't that what isn't that what you're paid to do the driver wanted you to cancel it yeah the, the driver wanted person. You to cancel it because they didn't want to wait in the line and i'm like but it didn't I thought that's why I called you, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and you like pick it up and bring it to me. It's a whole point. Yeah. yeah. And then we actually talked to each other on the phone, and she's like, "Yeah, you're gonna have to cancel it because I ain't waiting in that line." And I'm like, "Well, you know, if you waited in the line, how long do you think it would be?" I'm not really concerned about the time. She's like, "Oh," I'm like, "Don't you got other shit you could do? Like you could like go do whatever you do for 20 minutes and come back." Maybe there won't be a line. Check an email. And she's like, I'm just, I'm just trying to like barter with the, with the girl, you know? And she's like, who you're paying. You know what? If I come back and there ain't no line, you probably get this about whatever time I'm like, that's totally fine. And then, and then, so 
hours went like hours, <laughs> two, two hours something went by and i'm like man i would love to have that pizza right now and i just look outside i look outside my door and it's just on my fucking doorstep i'm like this is, they didn't text me they didn't ring it they didn't knock i'm just like social distancing yeah i don't want to get into it you don't leave a hot pizza out on the porch yeah they did that's cactus yeah. style how was it? Cold, hot, medium? Was it? It was still it? had a little bit of warmth to it. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. It's my yeah, favorite good. pizza place. So warm, cold, anything. You're like, damn, I'm so stoked wow. I got this pizza. You just take it. Yeah. Did you have a microwave to nuke it a little bit or what? Yeah, I put it. I put it in the oven a little bit. Just oh, to like, nice. Yes, it was fine. It was fine. I, there was no <laughs> complaints. I put it in the, the, the oven. <laughs> the the only the only thing was just like the interaction with the girl, just like refusing to do her job. But I was like. Shit. Wow, sounds like you've had a hell of a time during this pandemic. <laughs> Got a lot Crazy. of, uh, yeah. Hey, and then, you know that the assholes getting all the toilet paper and all that stuff? Mm-hmm. That was me. You were stuck. <laughs> Why? So stuck. Because I was, you know what? I said, I'm getting all this shit because this ain't going away. And I don't want to come back to the meaning store. what, though? Like, toilet paper, what else? I got toilet paper. I got, uh, I got, uh, um, paper towels. I got a hundred boxes of mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah, because that's that, that's going to save your life. Sanitizer. Oh yeah, I got I got what I could. I got what I could. They the cut antibacterial me off. soap. I, I, I went in there and and I was like, oh my god, they got the Purell wipes. I grabbed the whole fucking rack, and I went to the the thing, and she's like, you can only take four, and I was just like, no, I could feel myself dying. <laughs> no. I was like, I'm, I'm, oh, this is not enough. So were so, you grabbing toilet paper and then hand sanitizer and a shitload of candy and mac and cheese? Yes. <laughs> and then Reese's and then, Pieces and fucking toilet paper. Everything. Oh my God. And I was rolling up there and then um, this one guy said to me in the grocery store, he's like, I don't know what all the fuss about is over toilet paper. You can, he goes, he goes, don't matter what happens, you can still shit in the woods. And then I was like, uh, a fucking two months later, that was me. I was still I had all the toilet paper, and I was still shitting in the woods. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go out and I didn't go out and get anything. You didn't? No, I know no. a lot of people didn't, but I, I just I got I got I, I didn't want to go back to the store. Yeah, no, yeah, I got you. It, it wasn't that I was like I'm gonna get all this stuff, screw everybody else. It's like I'm gonna get all this stuff. I'm never coming back to the store. Well, so. you still have it. I brought I brought it back with me. So okay, good. It. Okay, good. And then I left. Oh, so Dakota and those guys they stay with their family, and they're like, "Can we come stay with you?" And I'm like, "Absolutely not." And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, I go, man, I'm just too scared. And they're like, "No, nah, we we understand." But they had been together the whole time, so they're just in their four man crew. So they're they've been isolated and quarantined together, you know, in this van. So now they're at Dakota's parents' house, and they're just skating. But they're like worried, like, what if we have to go to the hospital? What if, what if we do this? And like, that's a big so, thing, yeah. Yeah, so everybody, everybody's tripping, right? So, and I was like, dude, I can't even really give you advice at this point. It's kind of how you feel and what you want to do, and mm -hmm. you know. So they've been they've been going out and they've been playing it super safe, and they've just been skating with their their four, you know, just the four of them, right? And then. When I left, I gave them the key. So they're at my house right now eating all the mac and cheese. Oh. Eating all the shit. I left them a ton of toilet paper. Are you going to send them an invoice? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> just making sure. No, and then, and then the thing, too, with, like, like everybody's always filming for a video. Everybody's mm -hmm. always – but, like, during these times, it's like, dude, there's no – like, everything's off, at least for me. Like, like, you don't have to film. You don't have to, like, just – dude, just – just be safe. That's it. If if you want to skate and you want to do this, great. But like, if you want to like hide in a hole till it's over, I'm totally cool with that. You know? Sure. Yeah. Whatever yeah. You do. And speaking of video parts and everything, you you the, the real street just came out like last week, and uh, you you created that, which is incredible. Well, well, how how did that even come about? That so was ten that, years ago. That was eleven years ago. Eleven. Eleven years ago. Yeah. And. Um, I just, I, I had worked for the guys at X games for a couple of years and, um, I don't remember how long I was working there, but I, I pitched them the idea and cause up I until just, this point, they're only doing contests, right? Yeah. They're, it's and, just their X games contests. That's yeah. It. And even 11 years ago, there wasn't like parts dropping every day. You know what I mean? Sure. And, and there wasn't like, 
Um, and if there were, they were like, you know, three, four, five minute parts and there was whatever. So I was like, let's do a one minute video contest and let's get skaters that are like not really in the X Games all the time and like have these video parts and then they get paid and whatever. And you can, you can, um, you could do this same style across, you know, moto and BMX sure. and whatever. And one so, minute is doable. One minute is doable. One so minute is doable. You, even if you have another project, you can, hopefully you can get a good solid minute, you know? Sure. Yeah. Sure. So, um, they like the idea. And then it went on for a couple of years. And then, uh, I was like, Oh, it'll probably last a couple of years. Like I'll be stoked and hopefully people like it. But then last year was the 10th year. And they had us come out to the the headquarters in Bristol, Connecticut, and we did like a ten year TV show about it and stuff. And Muska was the host, and it was it was fun. And, and and I can't believe it's been ten years. Can't believe it's been eleven years. And then like it's insane. Um, yeah. And people were people were hitting me up for for next year too. And uh, huh. so I'm stoked. I'm super stoked. And then uh, I just hope people enjoy, it and I hope people uh, get psyched on the video or, or, or see the the main goal. I feel with it is to like when I first started skating, like it was like future primitive. So like I saw Lance mountain street skating, but I didn't know that's what it was called. You know what I mean? I, he's just like cruising around, having fun, doing a board slide on the railroad ties, like eating a banana, kicking down the street. Like it was just like that, that like that sat with me. And I'm like, dude, I want to do that. That looks fun. And then, so if I can show like Jamie Foy or, even Danny Montoya was in it and all these people throughout the years. If I can, if, if a kid can just see like the video parts that we see, but on like, it's on like ABC and ESPN. Sure. So like a, a whole different world, but we're showing them what the, the world that all of us live in, like video parts and tricks. And if we can just show them the legitimate side of it, where we're just yeah. like, this is what we love. And yeah. hopefully they fall in love with it too. And, they might they're seeing what it. we do on a regular basis rather than seeing like, Oh, the X games contest or the street leagues or whatever exactly. it may be. Right. They're seeing the real, the real deal, the real street, the real street, real street. Real. Yeah, so. Oh, so that's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> How do you choose who's going to be in there? Each year it's different. So like last year you guys had like 12 people. Wasn't it 12? Ooh, I'd have to look back. I don't think it was, but no. Like at, at the very beginning, it was like eighteen, and then fifteen, and wow. then twelve, and then People ten. People started dropping out. Well, no, no, no. It, it, here's what happened. Like, so we've had like the same budget the whole time, mm. but as as it as it grew, I guess, like in popularity, they wanted to do TV shows with it too. So, like, to create a TV show is a lot of money. So, like, there, there's just less skaters because because uh, the budget issue, and then mm. also you can't fit all you can't fit 18 people into a 44 minute television show right you can't fit right. 12 you can't fit 15 so this year we did six and it was the magic number like the the tv show flows good and you can do a story on them and all that stuff but i'm looking into next year to adding more people again hmm. but then figure out a way where like maybe not everybody's interviewed for the show so like i'm still i'm still working on some stuff so i think that the six people thing is good because a lot, they, they get more shine. True. They get a lot of like, you, you can focus on six people. Like, like a person that wants to watch all the parts may not watch 18 parts. They're just gonna watch well, their favorite maybe person. Six think, people, they're gonna watch maybe all six. For sure, I think 10, 10 is the magic number for me. Okay. I think 10's digestible, where you're That's, just like, yeah. here's your 10 guys, and then. It, it's good because it's only a minute long, so it's not yeah. like you're watching 10 minute, six minute parts. Yeah. Or 10 people doing six minute parts. It's eight to 10 is kind of like what I'm kicking around. You know, okay. I don't think we'll go okay. 12. Or I whatever, like but... six. I'm just saying that's my, I like a, yeah. Or but nine. Here's the problem. You know how skateboarders are like, Oh, I got hurt or I can't do it. Or right. you know what? So right. like you can't push television. So like you have, you have like, what if two people drop out and then I had four? It's like, ooh, I only got four. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Or shine for them. You, you're yeah, you're better off shooting for the, the stars or whatever and then be like, hey, dude, you didn't make the cut. <laughs> yeah. Well, but listen. I don't, I don't want to have anybody who doesn't make the cut, though. I want to like, yeah. I want everybody to get their shine, but it's uh, it's tough. That's why I got a yeah. lot of work to Well, do because there's year. voting tiers, right? So it's like you vote once and then it comes down to like the finalists and then the, right? It's it's kind of no, it, it down. did that for a couple of years. Like we did the, we did the brackets okay. before. This one is just like, there's six guys. You, you click on it and you just 
Okay. Pick your favorite. First, so second, no... and... oh, f- just one winner for fan favorite. Just one. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever had told someone like, yo, dude, maybe you should just like keep working on that video part? Well, I, there's I, no I way did... in hell you're going to be fucking Chase or someone else. <laughs> wow. Harsh rush. I, I, I did. And I, but here's the thing. I told everybody that because I wanted the parts to be super good. Yeah. And I feel like all the parts were good, but I don't want to say which skater and which crew said they're like, what you think? our No, they didn't tell me they told somebody else. And then that circled back to me. They're like, they're like, Oh yeah. I heard you told filmer, blah, 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 that his part sucked for this year. And I'm like, what? And then I was like, I'd never say that. And he's like, and I was like, look, here's my fucking text message. And it says, Hey man, like, put everything into it you got this fucking make it good and then it just depends on which way you read it somebody might yeah, be like yeah, make yeah, it yeah. good i thought it was already good you know so it's right yeah. right it gets at loss in translation i sent that to everyone yeah so but they don't know that so they're like why is he right. texting me telling me to make it good and it's like no. i'm just trying to hype everybody up you know so you're copying pasting yeah <laughs> how far ahead of you are are you on that like did the, are the parts done like a couple of months before or like right till last so, month or whoever's signing up for this next one will pretty much be finished by December. And then they usually have January, February to get like last tricks. And then like this year it was, we were done in March and then the T the, 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 everything comes out in May. You already filmed it before the whole pandemic thing. Yes. The show and yeah. everything. Yeah. Well, yeah. The only thing that changed because the pandemic affected was the judges. So we had, we had three judges and then two of them um, didn't like couldn't make it, so we had five judges this year, but we only aired three of them. But the votes we did the votes from all five. Gotcha. Okay. The the two judges that no one will see were uh, Gary Rogers and Chad Muska. So total, there were five judges, but only three are going to be on camera or on the on. Yeah, but all yeah, but all the votes count, and it's like um, it was tough because like Muska. You know, it was, I think we filmed the judges like, man, like maybe the 15th or the 20th of, of March. And it was like, you know, Burnett lived really close. He could walk to the studio. So he felt comfortable. Lee DuPont lived a mile away. And then Chris Cole was like, yeah. And he lives really close and he's comfortable mm. around all of us. So it's like, sure, sure. It, I, I didn't think we were going to get the judges. I was like, it's just going to be online this year. Like right. voting only, but. Huh. But we, well, you, you we just you just barely uh barely made it. Yeah, we barely we barely Amazing. got the judges. So yeah, so next year I think that uh this is why we called you actually. We wanted to get a three parter. We wanted to have me and Kelly and Raj enter. <laughs> you guys are in. <laughs> I'd rather just judge if possible. <laughs> no, we're just going to get one trick each. <laughs> but oh, here's the it. thing. Yeah, you that's all we need. You can't be in it, uh, Chris, because Michael Jordan's already seen your clip and like you oh. can't you can't really outdo that. It's like it's a- <laughs> I uh I did I sent him my sponsor me tape. He was watching it. <laughs> watching it. But I might hit you guys up um to be there might be a we might do some d- different stuff with the judges next year. Who knows? Yeah. I was saying we cuz we talked about it on the experience show um last week and I, I was saying that you know I I'm not a judge. I, I I'm not a, I don't like to judge people Kelly whether is, it's yeah. whether I know but whether it's a contest or whether it's uh any anything. Well, usually contests people get judged. I don't know if I could judge a contest or somebody's video part. I feel like the video parts are very, um, you know, they're. But it's not really a video part though, because it's a it, minute long, so it's, it's not. St- like it's a, still a con- You still are working for it, you know, and it's still a piece of you. You're putting that out there. A contest is kind of like, oh yeah, I didn't win this contest, whatever. You know what I mean? Like there's like another contest coming up. Like what's your, what was your favorite uh, part um, in the? I don't know. I didn't watch them. No, no, no. Oh no, I'm not. No. I'm what's your favorite part from the? I don't know, fucking DGK video, right? What's your favorite part from the the girl video? Like, what's your favorite? I get it, I get it, but you know, so I'm all not... it is there's no, there's no there's no right and there's no wrong answer with it. It's right. just a, it's overall impression, and it comes from you. You're the judge. These guys submitted their stuff for for yeah. whoever the judges are to like whatever however it makes them feel. So like that's why people sure. get so upset. Like, what you should have had this guy, not this guy, and it's like. It's just, it's just your opinion. Well, yeah. I mean, you got Frankie Villani and then you got Chase Webb. 
total opposite ends of the uh, Clive For Dixon, sure. you know. But you asking Chris if his what video he or what part like the girl video is pointless because he's just gonna choose himself. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> well, that's why I, I try not to. Yeah, I, do have, uh, <laughs> I do travel with my. Uh, you know. I try to yeah. not get any judges that are connected to the writers. To yeah, you know, it's like it's tough. Everybody's connected somehow, but it's like. You know, you guys are the, the industry, and you're judging these guys, and it's just how it makes you feel. So, hey, man, you got you had a great lineup this year. I'm telling you, man, those video parts were epic. It's thanks to the guys, dude. It's like they they fucking did it. So, like, yeah, I was just honored that I could present it on a platform where hopefully millions of people will see it and they'll be stoked. And I love all these dudes. I love all these guys, but Clive Dixon, wow. <laughs> That guy. Yeah, he's gnarly, dude. He's gnarly. Yeah, and then that Thrasher part like a month ago or whatever. And that oh, Thrasher man. part was supposed to be out six months prior, but I think the song was like mm, holding oh. him back because it took a long time right? to get the yeah. yeah. And D- Dakota, he was just did the America video. And I mean you got and Chase Webb, he just had a pizza part come out, right? Yeah. Not too long ago. Yeah. It was, it was maybe yeah, like a like month or two, two ago, months, right? Maybe. Yeah. Can you say what who you chose to win? Well, he didn't vote. No, I know, I, but I if you would. Oh, who? Oh, uh, nah. Nah, I don't <laughs> that. <laughs> Damn, he thought about it. Yeah. He thought about no, it. I, I like them all, but the thing is, is like my favorite things as I've judged for so long is to hire the judges now and then – because I do, I like, I don't tell them, but I'm like, I bet, I bet they're going to pick this person. And then they mm. don't. And I'm like, damn, like, they, it's you like, never know. Yeah, yeah, you never know. It's, it's cool to see what everybody else thinks, you know? Yeah. I noticed you're drinking water, man. When you were on our show, you said that you survived I, without drinking water for 12 months or something. I, I quit soda uh, this week. No, okay. last week. You oh, ran nice. out. No, no, I quit. We'll <laughs> yeah. see how long this can go in the quarantine. See if I can shrink down a little bit. What was a when you were on the show? You said how long did you not drink water for? Like two years. years or something? Ten, ten years. Jeez, <laughs> it's not possible. You need water, like you need water to survive. No, I was. I don't know if I ex- explained it, but did I explain it on the show last time? How, I don't know, how it happened? Man. It just I don't know. Like, bottled water wasn't a thing back then. Oh, that's true. And, and you just like the only water that I got was out of like a water fountain, like at a schoolyard. True. True. There, there wasn't like, I mean, you go to a restaurant, it was like Coke. And then you go home, you're like Mountain Dew. <laughs> you're like, you go in the store, you're like, I'm gonna get something different. Let me get that orange crush. And then you don't, you're like, <laughs> you're just like, remember the, uh, God, like all the snapples and all that shit. Like, oh yeah, man. Like Snapple was like, Oh, that's, that's probably pretty good for you. Sure. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's got 80 grams of sugar. Yes, Arizona iced tea was a healthy tree at one point. Oh, well, Arizona. Oh, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. That's got to be way worse than the orange crush. Yeah. What's the, what's the worst candy out there? What do you think? What, what's the worst? That fucking... Runts? That, no, no, no. No, the runts are good. That Chico stick, because it's supposed to have chocolate on it. Because that's a Butterfinger. Well, you're, you're talking about the... the it's like a orangish, tannish candy. Yeah. The yeah. stick. Yeah, it, that's just... Don't no, that. no good. No <laughs> good. Okay. And then the good and plenty, like the the licorice uh, ones. Yeah, that's like a grandpa Mike and Ike. <laughs> sure. You don't get the good and plenty. Good you ever had plenty. the you ever had the white good and plenty? Yeah, terrible. <laughs> wait, 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 so are you maybe not a black licorice guy? No, because it's got a candy no. coating. <laughs> yeah, no, no black licorice. I got what? into black ri- licorice for like a summer. Listen, take the good and plenty. <laughs> Eat the candy coating off and spit out the um, the, the the licorice, just like you do with a, like a sunflower seed. I, no, I do that with corn dogs. I, I, <laughs> you I, eat the outer wrapper. I eat the I eat the outer of a corn dog and I just throw that fucking dog on the ground. You eat the, <laughs> hate that thing. With the stick still in it. Yeah. So now it's just a hot dog on a yeah, stick. It's a hot dog on a stick. Nobody wants oh that. Oh my god, that is awesome. Any sauce? <laughs> Nah, no sauce. Just, just straight up. <laughs> just nibble yeah. on the outside. What? What's wrong with the hot dog? You just don't like I hot just dogs. Don't, I don't like them. You don't go with hot dogs. Uh, you know what? They're kind of good. But I mean, yeah. I mean, I could pass on a hot dog anytime. <laughs> I could only eat one hot dog. If I eat two, I feel like I'm going to throw up by the last. For sure. Bite of the second one. It's not bad, but it's not like. 
by the time you just have a dog on a stick in your hand, you should throw that thing. <laughs> That's what it's made for. You're in the trash. <laughs> yes. Hey, I noticed. No um, I noticed you had damn am trophies behind you. When was, when was the last time you won some damn am contests? <laughs> that could be. That could be a 1967. Let me check the date on it for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got paint swatches on his wall. He's got damn am trophies. Well, this yeah, ain't well, bad. Okay, well, we'll go with this one first. Okay. This one got? looks like I um I had a good day in September 2003 and <laughs> and and got eighth place in a bowl somewhere. <laughs> they, what? Where, they give where, you a trophy for eighth place? What is yeah, this? I guess I didn't even know. It. Yeah. Participation eighth trophy. Eighth place, Minneapolis. Eighth place. Okay. I must have just dropped in, and I, I don't know. Maybe this is somebody else's. I, I, don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what this. <laughs> He stole someone's eighth place trophy. Yeah. <laughs> it could have been a team writer's like, you just take this back for me. I don't want and I was like, yeah. this one is uh July two thousand seven. Thanks for nothing. Okay. Just showing up. <laughs> that seems like more of a trophy than yeah. is your speed. I'll keep this one. Oh, and then hold on, there was I saw this over there too. So hold on. What else I got? I got a throw in star from Tampa. Oh. Oh, this is they're getting better. 2006, January, second place in the Old Man Bowl Jam contest. Ooh, what? that's go. good. That's yeah, dope. I have to frame that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that or, one. Or kill somebody with it. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Hey, second place ain't bad. No, second place ain't bad. I mean, nobody ever remembers second place, but, you know, it's not bad. No, not bad. So what are, where are we right now in your house? This is your office. This is my office. I assume. Right. Yeah, this was, this was pretty sick. Look at this thing. Usually team riders, they don't really, I mean, you know that they appreciate it, but this was cool. Like CJ Collins, mm -hmm. we surprised him and turned him pro. And, I was, and I, I was there. You were there. And then, yeah. uh, and then he sent me this framed thing that he did himself. He like spray painted this frame and just says, thanks for everything. And it's got oh, his first dope. board. And I was like, I was like, dude, I'm gonna keep this forever. That's so, dope. That's, that's right. dope. That was at the, uh, that was at the Vans. What was that? It was on, down on the beach. A uh, van showdown. Van showdown. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's was, that was cool. I mean, how old is that kid? 13? No, CJ's 16. 16, 16 years 16. old, just turned pro. That's amazing. Yep. He got, he, we started flowing him when he was 12. Wow. Yeah. So he's gnarly. Yeah. He's, he's amazing. Man. I just found these too. I, I would light them off, but. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Angie wouldn't approve, but I got a tank. Oh, what? You know, one of those, you know those little tanks? Oh, that, that's probably not that bad, though. They probably know, just shoots I, out little things. I can't put, I don't know if I should do that. Light today. it and throw it in the toilet <laughs> and see what happens. I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anything else. You, you know what? Uh, one of my favorite photos is, uh, is this one. I'm going to take it off the wall. See, I love this. Oh, People I was just going to ask about that. I was like, "What? Who's on the jet ski?" That's what we're doing the minute that the fucking vaccine hits. That's you. <laughs> That's me <laughs> and Leo. Wow! Wow! On a jet. Who took that photo? That's a great action shot. <laughs> Burnett took that photo. <laughs> wow! That's epic. So yeah, that was that's one of my favorite photos right there. And then I'm trying to get this fixed. Dan Stolen says he could fix it, but uh, this is a VHS cam in mint condition. The only thing somebody nibbled off the microphone though, like this. <laughs> oh. But the uh, this thing's perfect. Look, it's still got the. Is this, you should give it you, to the dude who uh, fixes VXs. Oh wait, here's another trophy. <laughs> you just, yeah. Look at this one. What the fuck is it? What is this? Look at this. It's like it looks like a, a little kid made it, right? <laughs> okay, skate park of Tampa. Yep. Top first honors. place, Bull Jam. What? Oh man, first place. I think you made that. <laughs> I think you made that. You just... I was salty for getting second. I just had to make a first play. This is as good as I could come up with. <laughs> he's making he's making his own trophies. Yeah, right. that's that's how the quarantine's been going. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> Oh We need to redecorate the office. Well, hold on. Let's see Go if on. I got it in here. Uh, here's one I never hooked up. But Leo got me the hamburger phone. I just oh, never Wow. What? Never hooked that up. 
Oh, I, re- dude. I remember those, man. It came with like a, I think a red or yellow cord, you know, those uh, cu- curly cords. Remember these, Raj? The flip phone? No, it's a flip oh, camera. Flip remember camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what's oh. on that. Oh, look. Terrible. <laughs> I love show and tell. Since we were talking about real street. Yeah. Don't think I don't got my own gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't win it. You didn't. Were you, did you enter one year? You who'd you steal that from? You guys. <laughs> it's a sample. You guys, you guys froze <laughs> up. Yeah, that's a prototype. <laughs> what does it say on there? Hold on. 2017. Maybe somebody didn't get their gold. I think everybody got their gold though. Do you do you judge? Do you help judge the X Games too? Like the actual contest? The X Games got canceled this year, but mm-hmm. previous years, I like um, organize the judges, get them there, organize the skaters, make sure they get there, and uh, it's just called a sport organizer. Is what the uh, position is. So Kelly's wondering how we can get on next year. We got you on the list, Kelly. We're getting hey. you there. I remember one year you asked me, and I, I I couldn't do it. It was something that lined up at exactly the same time, but you know X what Games happens? Is rad. You yeah. know what happens when you do that? Huh? You go from here down to there on the left. <laughs> <laughs> no. Getting called back again. I think I was supposed to fill in for somebody or something. I can't. I don't. Remember, it was but. for sure. It was Billy. Fill in for Billy. Yeah. 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 Probably. How's Bill? <laughs> Have you talked to Bill lately? Billy is doing good. He has a new yeah. girlfriend. Oh. And, okay. uh, nice. Was he married? He was married. Um, a while ago. He got, div- he got divorced on King of the Road. Something happened. Oh, Nothing that he did on King of the Road was right, the right, cause right. of it. It just and then um and then he got this other girlfriend, something didn't work out, and then he has this new one that I've yet to meet, but she looks super nice and Billy's super happy. I think we met his old girlfriend when he was on the show. Yeah, she yeah. came over. Yeah, she came yeah. she was over there. Yeah. yeah. Those are they're no longer together. Okay. So he's he's got a new one, he's got two kids, um, and he's um he started a YouTube channel and then he's oh, working. Excellent. So is he doing Billy's balls? I haven't been to the. I gotta subscribe. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to subscribe. Smash the like button and the, yeah. ring the bell. But Billy, yeah, Billy's doing great. He's just, um, yeah. I just I can't go hang out with him because can't hang, hang out with nobody right now. But but you guys yeah. digitally. How are your pugs doing? I got one pug left. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You had like five of them. No, no. I, How many so, did you have at one point? Uh, the most pugs I've ever had at one point is two. So oh, the really? First, I thought you were. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting you mixed up with Joey Brzezinski. Jesus. <laughs> jo- I think Joey like had three. Pugs. My first pug was named Chubbs. He <laughs> he passed away from cancer. He got it twice. I was super bummed. Oh, then we had. I'm sorry. Yeah, he made it to ten. Then we had Lebowski, but we had Lebowski and Chubbs at the, like they were a year apart, and mm-hmm. Lebowski made it sixteen years. Sixteen. That's yeah, that's good. He, he just passed away. Like. You know, six months ago. Oh man, I'm oh, sorry. Man. And then Milo uh, was a pug that we adopted when Chubbs passed away, so Lebowski could always have a homie. Yeah. So now we have Milo, and then now we have my lady brought home like the weirdest little fucking dog you've ever seen. It's like a. <laughs> well, I, I did a DNA test on it. It's a. It's fifty percent Chihuahua, twenty five percent Mini Pincher, and twenty five percent Poodle. I'll go get it in a second. It's, okay. it's the weirdest, weirdest looking thing you've, you've ever seen. <laughs> and that, that was what it. I was going to ask was, um, you know, when one dog passes away, does the other dog get, um, what did they call it? Like separation anxiety or like, you know, when, um, I don't know, man. It's like, can you tell if their demeanor changes? Do they miss the other dog? They know I, mean, going, yeah. I would think yeah. so, you know, but like, I don't know. I, it's hard, but I just want them to always, if, I can't imagine just having one dog, even though there's nothing wrong with that. They sure. gotta be like a, there's, I feel it's gotta be like homies, you know? And so this other dog, what, did you, did she rescue it or? So I thought she was bullshit and she was like, she's like, Hey, I'm going to be going down to, um, Mexicali or, or so, not Tijuana, but I think it's Mexicali. She's like, I'm going to donate food to the shelter down there. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, do your thing. I'm, I wasn't really paying any attention to her. So she was like, <laughs> doing her thing. <laughs> she's doing her thing. <laughs> and then she's like, Oh my god, there's this littlest dog you've ever seen. It's so cute. They're gonna kill it. I'm like, oh I'm like, that's that's what those shelters that's I mean, that's at every shelter, you know? Like I'm sorry, like I'm sure it was a great dog, but like mm-hmm. I was like, I'm a I'm a pug man, right? <laughs> like, did you see any pugs down there? Because we'll take them all. <laughs> she's like she's like, nah, no pugs, but 
she's like, I'm going to go back in a month and or three weeks or a month and donate mm-hmm. again. If the dog's still there, I'm going to get the dog. I didn't think anything of it. I thought somebody would take the dog, whatever. Sure. And then she sends me a, a text of her and the dog in the like crossing the border together. And I'm like, what? We got a dog? Oh, and then wow. like, yeah, she comes home with this little crazy looking dog. What's his name? Uh, her name is Luna. So it's the first girl dog we've ever had. And oh. so Milo and Luna were the names that were given to him. Mm-hmm. So Chubbs and Lebowski, like I named those from the start, but these, uh, these last two have just had the names. So we just kept the names. I like, Le- I like Lebowski. I like yeah. Chubbs. That's a good yeah. name. And I told, uh, cause Muska is a big, uh, pug lover. I don't know if you guys mm-hmm. know that. And I asked Muska, I'm like, would you be cool with this or would you be bummed if I get a, my next pug and name it Muska? He's like, I'd be honored. I'm like, so I might get Muska the pug. <laughs> Muska the pug. <laughs> I was That's thinking good. about how sick that would be, but then I was thinking about it because like when you're alone and no one's around, you're like, tell a Muska how much you love him. That's kind of weird, right? <laughs> it's kind of, it is a little weird. Give Muska a little kiss. Yeah, so I'm like, I <laughs> A little know. kiss on the forehead. Oh, shit. You know, I might have fucked up, but like, Muska, come on, get in bed here. Come on, get in bed with me. Muska, want to go potty? Muska, want to go potty? <laughs> you need to take a shit, Muska? All right, take a shit, Muska. We got to go. Yeah, Muska's gassy today. Let me Ooh. see if I can, uh, yeah, Muska get real gassy today. Are you going to go look for Luna? <laughs> Should I go get the dogs real quick? I would love to see him. Yeah. Milo will not come up here. He's the okay. grumpiest. I should get I should get Angie to bring him up. Milo's really grumpy. Oh, like, really? He's just like, <laughs> wait, wait, he's you, so, how old is he again? He's eight, but he is, he's like grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can get these guys real quick. Get Luna. I love I love that. Luna, Luna will come up, no problem. Hold on. He's got the earphones in, so we'll be able to hear him for uh, Yeah, I can hear it. you guys. <laughs> the blue jelly doesn't work. Hey, Angie. Can you send the dogs up here? Send the dogs. <laughs> they, they know, send the know, dogs. The, send the dogs. You know the dogs know upstairs and downstairs. Like if I'm up here and I'm like, hey, go downstairs, and they'll, they'll go downstairs. Oh, they do. Wow. Yeah. Look, here comes Luna now. Oh, they're both coming. Oh, they're both coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, party. Let's roll in here. Come on over here, guys. Hey, over here. Come on over here. Come on. <laughs> All right, I gotta get the grumpy one, and then the Pete. little one's like nervous right now. Oh, it's cute. here's old grumpy ass Milo. Oh, look at there's him. Milo. <laughs> look how grumpy this dude is. Old dog. He does look grumpy. He's just like yeah. nine. That's clubs. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Seen it. He's like, you brought me up here for this shit. <laughs> there ain't nothing to snack on up here. Yeah. Yeah, he's over it. Let me get Luna real quick. Okay. I like Milo. Luna, yeah. come here. She's scared to come in here. No, no dogs usually come in the office. I don't. I don't allow oh. that shit. <laughs> Strictly business. Come here. Right. Oh, it's growling. No, he was. Uh, I think I squeezed him too tight. <laughs> <laughs> was just gasping out. Here's weird ass Luna. Look at this thing. Oh, Luna's cute. That is cute. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Stop little... squeezing it. Yeah. <laughs> and they get a, they get along. Oh, you're along great. Yeah, look at him. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Pretty soon you'll have uh, Muska. Yeah, well, I might get Muska. A little mini Muska. Might musca. get a little Muska. Muska. And Muska the pug coming soon. So what's what's going? How long do you how long do, uh, do you spend a day in your office? Uh, on a good day. You, you know what? I'm not going to answer that. I'm going to show you something. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're taking this show on the road. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Because here's the it. office. I'll give you a 360 view of the office. You ready? Okay. Yeah. There's not much to see. It gets kind of. No, I love it. This here. is you know when you watch in TV, you only see one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that the, that the, wall's the, bare. Yeah, it's walls bare over there. Extra pillows. Yeah. yeah, a lot of extra pillows. Okay. Yeah, and then, uh, oh, you want to know? I'm sure you guys have this too, but everybody sends you guys a bunch of random stuff like. There's yep. probably still some analog jeans or something up oh, in the shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit on top of shit in the closet, right? Oh, there. Wait, here's Chubbs and Chubbs and Lebowski. Can you see him? Oh yeah, yeah. look at Chubbs. Yep, hey, good dogs. Little Lebowski. It's so sad, then, man. Uh, That's a, a, animals. You love them so much, and then they, but they don't. You know, Sixteen years is a long time, but still, yeah. it's it's short. Yeah. In uh, comparison to us. So tell me if you notice anything weird about what goes on in here. Okay, well, there's a Can, couch with a light. It's still a potato color wall. No, yeah, I know the whole place is potatoed out. Okay. But the uh, <laughs> look what happened to the couch. 
It's taken over by the dogs. No, no, no. Look the other side. I can't really see. We can't really it's dark. see. Really? Okay. Get closer. Need... Get closer. Damn, I need another light in here. Oh, you so... got the you got the TV on for the dogs. I love Look at this. The, the impression in the uh, couch. <laughs> yeah. So that's where it's been. <laughs> that's that's where it all happens right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real office. You're like, how much time do you spend in your office? I'm like, I spend a lot of time in my office, but this is <laughs> kind of my office. <laughs> It's kind of the office right here. So it's not far off. So if someone needs something, the office is right there. Wait a minute. So you're upstairs right now. What's downstairs? Oh. Is that another living room and then kitchen, yeah. I assume? And, Let me um, give you the, Do you want the tour? I would love the tour. <laughs> All right, hold on. What color we got me, the walls downstairs? Dude, hold on. Potato everywhere. Can, Still potato? So I think the people, when I, I think the people must have been colorblind when I bought the house because it was potato. <laughs> The master bedroom was fire engine red. Downstairs was McDonald's, McDonald's yellow, and then the countertops were green. Oh my god! And it looks like a relatively new place. It looks call, like a call really the deal. nice. You, yeah, it looks you get like a nice... fucked up color house, you catch a deal. <laughs> the painters were just fucking with them. Yeah. So this is a uh, whoever's okay. room, Roger's room, Kelly's oh, room. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Little spare, little spare room. Yeah. Excellent. Then. Uh, we're this losing. this okay, room's trash. Hold on. Look at this lime green. Wow. Catch you, catch you a lime green deal, bunch of shit everywhere. <laughs> so that's that's just the whatever room. That's like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's our storage unit. That's storage. Yep. Yeah. So much happening there. Okay. How many bedrooms we're looking there's, at? There's the office. Office. That's three again. of them right there. Three bedrooms. Okay. Got a little where's, the, where's the master? It's coming. <laughs> So <laughs> there's the dog gate we installed. Okay. And then there's the this is the this is the loft. Gotcha. Look, there's caca caca on the wall. Can you make that out? Yep. yep. You gotta have caca on there. This is a nice got, house, dude. We we got no. Miss Pac-Man. We got Miss Pac-Man. What? Wow. Got yeah. Frogger. Got That's caca. dope. Look, got a fridge over there. Even though I told you I quit soda, I just can't touch them. But they're right there, just screaming at me. Oh, you got the willpower to not have it. That's good. Look, got the bubble gum. Gum <laughs> bubble machine. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we'll go over here. Hold on. Damn, let get, man. Let me get a light. Hold on. That's what the magic happens in here. This the we turn on some more lights. This, this must the mood. be this, this, the mood. Yeah, this must be this, the master. That's the master. Okay, look at you. Nice. And then. Wow. <laughs> there's, there's this girl on Instagram that loved the dog so much she painted that. That was that was my oh, little Lebowski. Oh, amazing! That's rad. I can't fit in that tub, guys. I just can't get in. There. <laughs> You've tried. Stuck in the, yeah, I'm stuck in there once. You're stuck in the drain. Stuck in there once. Look, still have it unpacked from Kaka. Wow. Look at it, lazy. So Dude. this is it, huh? This is where you live. This the this the Pug Palace. Hey, it's a great, except for the potato in line. Oh, we're, getting, we're about to get out of potato land. I got to go downstairs. Oh, wait, so you so you painted over the, the fire engine red? Yes. That was immediate. Yeah. We like, we got to well, get rid of that. You, you had to. Yeah, I just left the potato. I could deal with potatoes. <laughs> but, uh, hold on a second. So this is like a, this is like a, I don't know what this room's for, but it's trashed right now because Angie's got all of her work supplies here and I got a okay. foosball machine in the middle of the table. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we made this. We made like a, a you see that's a little, little doggy room under the stairs. Oh, oh dope! Oh, wow, little timeout area. Yep, get in there if you be a bad dog. Oh wow! And this is a gate that they just I don't know why it's there. They don't use it. This and then the there's Angie. Knock it over. There's Angie with her beautiful puff hair. Yeah. And then <laughs> there you go. The fire. What a great place, man! Like, and here goes the kitchen. Yeah. Damn, those lights, those Christmas lights. And then we got the back patio. Oh, damn. There goes the pugs right there. So that's the, that's the full tour. Wow. Looks what great. am I doing wrong, man? I have a one bedroom apartment. And this, it's, it's, it's cheaper down, down here. That's okay. going to come south. Yeah. So if, south. If, if, you know what you can get in Venice? Hold on. You get that See, fucking. This is what you could get in Venice. Closet. For the same price, <laughs> this is what you could get in Venice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the doggy timeout area. Yeah. Look, at, 
That's yeah. actually where or, Kelly lives. Yeah. <laughs> like that's a, that's his apartment. That's my bed. A little couch, little couch back there. You like it? No, that is sick. That's better than Kelly's apartment. <laughs> wow, Kelly, you Good. have a great place. Yeah, thanks. That's the end of the pug tour right there. But. So didn't you used to used to be in Long Beach, no? Where were you? Before? No, no. I, I've been like the reason that I live. Oh, I'm winded. You hear me on them stairs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, workout. Everybody thinks that I was in Long Beach because most of the team is in Long Beach. But uh, I've been down here because my lady works in Carlsbad. Oh. And um, she has to go to work. And then I can kind of be wherever. So we just kind of posted up here. We've been here for 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. Well, I was in Encinitas for 10. Okay. And then I was in Vista for seven. So then for three years, I've moved around from like, um, like South San Diego. Yeah. Get that so, cool gray going, man. The potato is not a good. Yeah. Thing. The potato has got to go, dude. It's got to go. Yeah. It's got to go. <laughs> it's like a cool slate or gray marble. Which one do we decide here? I, I picked the cool slate, but these guys seem to I mean, gray marble. I'm not either. I'm down with either, but I'll, I'll, if you like the cool slate, I would go with that. I'm going cool slate. Like I said, man, put up some crown molding or something. Yeah, we got to get the crown molding in here. Yeah, crown molding's good. Okay, so let me ask you a serious question. Okay. Okay. Papa John's, Little Caesars, mm. Domino's. Well, Domino's is axed from the or start. You just, that's gone. <laughs> that's gone. <laughs> Throw another okay. one in there. Domino's is trash. Process of elimination. Okay. <laughs> Pizza Hut. Ooh. Here's what. Okay. Pizza Hut breadsticks. Right, let's go. So, let's go. Let's review them again. Pizza Hut, Little okay. Caesars. Yep. Papa John's. Yep. Domino's is out already. Domino's is done. They okay. should just close up shop. Okay. That shit is fucking <laughs> trash. <laughs> so, so Little Caesars is Little Caesars is only above anything because of when your budget's fucked. You're like, I only got enough for the Little Caesars. And you're like, so it outweighs Papa John, whatever. It's not mm-hmm. better, but Papa John, I mean, but Little Caesars rises to the top on certain occasions because budget's fucked, you know? The, when the budget, so, yeah, when the budget's low. I'm going, man, this is tough. All right, you got a van full of dudes and you need to feed them on a budget. Who you, Where are you going? Little Caesars. You know, <laughs> oh, yeah. Johnny, Johnny Layton did that. He was like, he was so pissed about something one day and like couldn't get his trick or whatever. We're just going through this, like shortcutting through this strip mall. And he's like, stop the van. And we're like, damn, what the fuck is up with Johnny, dude? And he's like, stop the fucking van. And we're like, we're like, all right, we stopped the van. And he got out, didn't tell anybody anything. And we're like, dude, what is he? What the fuck's his problem? This motherfucker comes back to the van with like, Four little Caesars, like, dude, just just fucking want to stoke you guys out. I'm fucking pissed right now. It's like, (laughs) 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 he bought the van, Little Caesars. It was, it was amazing. That's pretty cool. That's sick. Uh, it changed, it changed everybody's vibe, you know. You're, you're skirting the question, though. This is a, I could see it's a tough one. I could see it's a tough one for you, but uh, Domino's. Let's really break this down. I want to really hear the thought process because Domino's is we already just that, but we don't even that. That's out. It's garbage, trash. Done. Little Caesars is next. Done. Why? So, because it's like it's it's kind of trash. Saying it's a budget. Okay, it's a budget pizza. Little Caesars budget is still ten times better than anything that Domino's makes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why do you okay. not like Domino's? It used to be good. It's just so bad. <laughs> like it's, every type of pizza they make. Every one of them. And you are you a more of like a regular dish pizza or like do you like thin crust or what do you like? I like New York slices, right? Mm-hmm. And then, but I do like a, a, an actual um, Chicago style pizza. Like, I went to Chicago, had the Chicago style, and I was like, "Oh my god, what have I been missing?" It's so good. It's talking about bread. If, if you're if you're out of Chicago, you're out of the game. Like, it doesn't exist anymore. You're like you're, yeah. you're like because that's why I hated Pizza Hut because I thought Pizza Hut had it had Chicago style pizza for their deep dish. That's what I thought. Mm. Chicago was forever, but I was the idiot and didn't know until later <laughs> on. But, but Papa John's is up here because they got that garlic dip, right? They got the garlic dip, and it's good, and the sauce is good. I always order it with extra sauce because they got that good red sauce for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, and then you throw some of the garlic on top of the butter, and it's just like mm. it's just an oily mess. And you're like, you you're so hyped, and then as soon as you're done, you're like, 
oh, fucked up so bad right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is, a garlic is, sauce. It is, but it changes because I love a Pizza Hut thin crust pepperoni pizza. It's like, it's like a cracker. I don't crust. really picture you as yeah, a thin good. crust guy. I, yeah, yeah, it's so good. I but don't even pizza, considering. I don't even consider ordering thin crusts. You should. You should consider it next time because yeah. anything else from Pizza Hut is right down there with Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what's worse. If 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 Pizza Hut didn't have the the thin crust pizza. I don't know which one's worse, Pizza Hut or Domino's. I couldn't even tell you. They're like, who has the best uh, breadsticks? Ooh, you can throw oh, all, you, can, you can throw Olive Garden in there too. Ooh, Olive Garden. <laughs> well, I don't like Olive Garden because I worked at Olive Garden and it was terrible. <laughs> oh, you worked you know, at Olive it, Garden. I worked at all. It was one of my first jobs. And check this out. You know, how breadsticks are free. Yeah. If you work there, you have to buy the fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what kind of? This is like. Like usually when you work somewhere, you get hooked up. Yeah. Like I work for you and you're fucking me. I got to pay for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> and when I, I don't know if you guys, no one believes this. I worked at Olive Garden and I, and I got, you had to pay for the breadsticks. You had to come in an hour early and roll silverware and, and stay an hour after and roll silverware. And they only paid you $2 and 13 cents. It was waiter's minimum wage in north carolina i was like man i could $2. find i was like i could find two dollars and 13 cents <laughs> yeah. find that. and you got paid for breadsticks yeah and i got a brief so like now i'm rolling <laughs> silverware for like 73 cents because i bought all these fucking breadsticks to go that's where they get you they may they pay you and they make you spend their money there yeah yeah so i i uh i quit that and started working for uh do you guys remember camelot music remember no. that i don't think they have that out here yeah, it was a, it was a mall chain. It was like oh, like a warehouse type thing, like a no, no. It was just like, like in the mall, store? like yeah, like record store or yeah, yeah, yeah. or tower. It was like a yeah tower records. No, yeah. we had it out here. It was a record store called the warehouse. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It was like that. I'm sure. Yeah, Camelot. Camelot. I, mean, I forgot music. about that. The warehouse I used to go buy uh, <laughs> hip hop CDs. Yeah, like. tapes. Yeah, I think I got my first Wu Clan Wu Tang Clan CD at the warehouse. I was, God, what year was that? It was like, like, you have to Google it. What year did the cranberries come out? Because I remember <laughs> helping someone. It was like 91, I feel like. Was that early uh, 90s? That was early 90s. It yeah. was like. Raj is on it. Zombie. Like, zombie. I would hear them in like the early four and ones, but they had to have been out yeah. before that. Uh, 89. It came out in 89? It was formed in 89, yeah. Okay. Oh, for me. No, but like the the hit, like the first album. It, it would be like ninety, probably. I feel like Zombie was like more. It was like later. It had, yeah, it had to have been later. I'm gonna say I was in that record store at ninety two or three. Yeah, I want to say ninety three. Zombie. I don't even know if that's the name of the song. Is it? I don't think it is. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I used to could play Zombie on the guitar, and I can't even play the guitar. Look at this thing. <laughs> I don't even know how. I don't even know what you would. How do you know? I, to play I don't even know what that song? sounds like. <laughs> Can you sing it too? And uh, look, oh, it go. doesn't even have any strings on it. Oh, it's got <laughs> one string. It's just a prop. Yeah, well, it had a string. Well, yeah, it does have. Hold up. Let's see if I can play zombie with the string. Hold up. Wait, where does the string? I don't. All right, Cranberry this... Zombie came out in '93. Oh, yeah, '93. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if I can get the string to work. Oh, I can't get it to work. <laughs> well, you got one string on your guitar. So <laughs> yeah. we, so we nailed it. Papa John's over anything other uh, anything any, any other fast food pizza we're talking yes about. but I would order the thin crust Pizza Hut tonight that's the mm. mood I'm in <laughs> I see it that's what I'm saying I, a thin crust is so I, I I don't I'm not a big fan of thin crust I never get thin thin crust if would I go to the store. Well, I'm just saying, if I go to the store and I have yeah, to yeah. buy you know frozen pizza and I uh, all they have is thin crust, I'm bummed. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm a DiGiorno guy. I'm going to send you guys a Pizza Hut thin crust to the set. Okay. <laughs> Text me the address again. It's just it. Roger's going to get it by now. I know. Now. I can't do us any good right now. You guys want it tonight? Wait. Can it, yeah, they're still. Are they delivering? No, we're okay. still social distancing. 
Well, I'm gonna get you guys that Pizza Hut. I promise you. <laughs> when, you bet on that. We'll, hey, we'll, we'll, I'll let you know when we're back in the back on the in the set. The party. You, hey, this is kind of this is kind of lame, but it, maybe it'll be for next year. But I, I honestly was gonna send you guys a Christmas present, but I didn't get around to it. This sounds lame. I, you know the you know the Jesus candles. Yep. Yeah. I was gonna have all of you guys' face on each oh. Jesus candle. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that? I didn't get around to it. Yeah. That's a that's a to do. Yeah, <laughs> you got to get an artist to do all that. That's a big thing. No, no, it's Photoshop. Oh, yeah, but still, you know how to do that? You can do it online. You just do it on your phone. Don't you work at Tomieto and Nike? You could probably get someone there. Yeah, I got. I, I know some people that can do that. Okay. That <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you getting when you order pizza? Are you getting the same toppings every time? Are you just pepperoni? I'll get the well. I'll do cheese. I'll do pepperoni and I'll do pepperoni green pepper. Okay. That's about it. Pepperoni. But you're getting you're getting the thin crust with pepperoni only usually. Yeah. This is a website where you can just put anyone's face on. Oh, a candle. Candle. Yeah. Like oh, they got it. Devotion candles were yeah. Yeah, you guys are getting them. Raj is a Google master. He's a uh, can Google anything. And you guys, are, yeah, just keep them lit on the set. Just keep them. <laughs> keep them burn. Just, we may need all box of them. Yeah, I might, I might have to get like a hundred of each. You can sell them on the website. There you go. Well, I'm glad we cleared up the pizza debate of any, 2020. Any royalties? Uh, any royalties that I earn off of that? Please send them to Billy. <laughs> <laughs> what's, ben, what's his Venmo? What's that? Billy's Venmo. Billy's Venmo is. <laughs> Let's make him rich right now. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Any donations, please, please uh, donate to Billy Marks. The Billy Marks Fund, dude. He's got to keep doing the Billy's Balls thing, man. That was incredible. Yeah, yeah they asked he, him to. They asked him to go on like Jay Leno or some shit, and he turned it down. That's what? insane. Because well, he's like, I can't it's fucking a lot of do pressure. it. Oh, yeah, I'll, like, oh, doing it live is a little yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, I can't do it. He's like, yeah, I filmed this on my phone, and it takes me four hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But let me tell you something. He was literally on the forefront of all that. I mean, his his YouTube videos were are, were going viral. Yeah, yeah. And he wasn't even putting it on his own channel. It was like I think one was on the Tumieto channel, right? It might have been. And then a couple other channels. He did some barracks things. Billy's always missing the mark. You know, just just that close. <laughs> Billy <laughs> Billy is missing the mark. <laughs> uh, but that's right. He started a YouTube channel. I want to maybe I'll subscribe too. See what he's up you to. Should. I wonder if he's just posting skating or if he's doing other shit on there too. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, I think, no, I think he was doing some type of trick shots again and stuff. And then oh, cool. he, he was posting all of his old video parts. I think he's collecting them and putting his stuff on there. So man, I'm telling you, man, skaters need to utilize this platform. Yeah. Everybody's all yeah. Oh. into Instagram. Oh, I'll tell you one. This, this has never happened. So Billy was in real street. You get paid to be in real street and your filmer gets paid. So Billy is like, fuck that. Put me in real street. And I'm like, all right, Billy, you can be in real street. I can't remember what year this was. So he took all of his footage, edited it himself. So he got paid to be in it. And he got the filmers thing because he just got the footage from whoever. And so, yeah. Smart guy. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> But he didn't win, but he, he won in his own little way. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, yeah, he got double the pay. Billy's always trying to hustle somebody. Got to hustle. Right now, it's fucking scary because nobody knows where their next paycheck's coming from. It's crazy. Yeah. Because there's no end to, like, what's going on, right? Like, you, I read about it every day, and it's like, like, what if they just said, okay, guys, June 2021 for sure. Then everybody would just figure out what to do until June 21st. But then, like. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, people are going, people are going back to work, which is great, but like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to fucking Chili's right now. Like there's no way, <laughs> there's no fucking way. You, you <laughs> talking about people's jobs and then but you're talking about chill, going to eat at Chili's. So you're yeah, talking about like, getting, getting an awesome blossom. Yeah. But like restaurants are opening up, right? Like, like in Georgia, like you can pick up. Yeah. I still don't like it. Still don't like it. Okay. Another serious like, what, question. I, Go ahead. Yeah. No, I was, I was just going to ask you guys how you feel about all this shit because I'm fucking spooked. Well, I don't really care, but um, I, <laughs> I, I care more about I care more about this. Okay. Chili's, Red Robin, TGI Fridays, TGI Fridays, Sizzler, Sizzler. Oh wow! Red wow. Robin, TGI Fridays, Sizzler. Don't forget Fuddruckers. 
Wait, what was it, the fourth one? Chilies. 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 So, wow. You must go to the bottom. You must start at the top. I want you to bottom. start. I want you to start <laughs> xing shit out. Yeah. Red Robin's got to go. I like those fries. <laughs> I like those fries, but like, if your if your strong suit is like big fat potato wedges and then like a mediocre burger, you're cut. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sizzler. I ha- see. I, I like a. I like. I call fajitas the sizzle, but mm-hmm. everybody thinks that I like Sizzler. Right. But I don't. I've probably been to like Sizzler three times in my life. You know, it's like a shitty steakhouse, but it's like yeah. I've it's only been like, there a few times too. Yeah. I mean, if if we were on tour and someone like you want to go to Sizzler, I'd probably be like, yeah, let's fucking go to Sizzler. <laughs> <laughs> it's something to do. You got nothing to lose. But uh, Sizzler would be next to be cut. Okay. And TGI Fridays is like a real shitty Chili's. <laughs> and then Chili's is pretty like... It's a shitty TGI Fridays. Yeah, so it's a shitty TGI Fridays. <laughs> but it's like, I like Chili's the most out of all that bullshit. And usually if if we all go to Chili's, like if, if all of us went to Chili's right now, mm-hmm. everybody can find something and be like, that wasn't that bad. But yeah. no one's going to be like, that was fucking great. You know? Yeah. Right, right. I mean, I would be the only one going, that was great. You guys would be like, man, the fucking wings were like, whatever. And then, and then, wait, Rock, um, who, who's a vegetarian here? No, nobody. Nobody? No. So what are you getting at Chili's? Uh, awesome Blossom. They have the Awesome Blossom at Chili's? Wrong place. They got some shit like that, but yeah. Uh, what's Awesome Blossom from, Rush? Isn't that Outback Steakhouse? It's Outback. Oh, is that Outback? Yeah. Oh, I'd rather go to Outback. Than Chili's? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but there's more options at Chili's. Well, Outback's more expensive too. Okay, let's just stick to Chili's. Um, what about Cheesecake Factory? Ah, oh, fuck that place. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious Chili's is the clear cut winner. Yeah, Chili's wins. By a long yeah. shot. What oh, about yeah. Hometown Buffet and like Soup Plantation? Fuck both of those. <laughs> but I go to Golden Corral, oh. which is like, Golden Corral is like, I, I, I took. Everywhere was closed on Thanksgiving Day one year. And I was like, thought I was doing everybody a solid. I'm like, hey, guys, we're going to Golden Corral. Blake Carpenter started crying. (laughs) started crying. It was so bummed. And I was like, Blake, what the fuck are you crying about? And he's like, dude, I mean, it's just like time to spend with your family. Your family's not here. We're the family right now. We're on this trip. We're going to fucking Golden Corral. And he... (laughs) He was like, we should just make like a Thanksgiving dinner. I'm like, where? In the fucking van? Like, we're staying at Motel 6. And then he's like, he was just, the the thought of Thanksgiving at Golden Corral brought a tear to his eye. It's the bottom wow. of the barrel for him. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, dude, I thought that was the best thing we could come up with. <laughs> I don't know if I've like, ever been to him. There's, there's nowhere to, there was nowhere to eat. Thanksgiving night at 9 o'clock right. in like, Memphis? Yeah, that's tough. I don't think I've ever been to a Golden Corral. It's it's hometown buffet, but, it, uh, you know. I feel right. like you're a good barbecue that day. What's that? I feel like you could have got like a good barbecue spot in, in Memphis. Well, I don't know if we're really in Memphis. We could have been in Orlando. I don't know where we were. <laughs> 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 we could have been in Tempe, Arizona. I don't know where yeah. we were. Oh, man. But I do remember he, he a tear came out of his eye socket. So you don't mind going on trips on during like holidays? No, that shit does not matter. It's like birthdays, holidays. None of that matters to me. I've skipped every holiday anniversary you could think of. And then it's like, it, it was like, but it's on Tuesday. And it's like, really? Can it be Friday? It's like, <laughs> who really gives a shit? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So me and, the, me and the lady celebrate when I come home or before I go. And then it's oh, like, okay. but I don't expect anybody else to do that. So it's like, it's almost like, they're on the trip and they're like, what? Friday's July 4th? Cinco de Mayo? And I'm like, there's. Yeah. Cinco de Mayo. You guys joined the trip. That's the right. best. Yeah. They're yeah. fucking doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what the fuck's going on with you guys? What? I don't know. What are Nothing. You this is it. This is the new norm right here. It's pretty awesome living by the beach because no one's out right now. Oh, actually starting to open up a little bit, but to skate down the beach is pretty awesome right now. Did you go out and see the 
electric current or whatever was going oh, on. Oh yeah, it's right there, dude. It's yeah. sick. Bioluminance. Everybody's seen it, but I went I went down there one time and there was no waves. <laughs> There's dude. no waves at the beach. There was no waves. It was it was like a it was like a lake. You were in the marina. No, I went I was drove by the beach and it was everybody was out there and nobody there was no waves. It wasn't even cracking. So I haven't seen it. That's why I think Long Beach is so weird. It's like that that like weird beach with no waves and just trash in the fucking water right there. Isn't that weird? Yeah, you gotta at least get down to uh what's what's the Orange County town that's right there? It's like uh Seal Beach. You gotta be in Seal Beach yeah. or you gotta just be like right above it you know but everybody's in long beach and i don't dislike long beach it's just strange to be in a beach where there's no real beach or no i don't know strange it is that that is weird we have a great view of the uh, oil fields and everything else yeah you can enjoy those oil fields all you want (laughs) but yeah this is it man i don't know i don't know you know we're just it's same shit over here i mean we're all i mean i'm not completely terrified but I'm just, I'm doing my part, you know, social distancing and doing all that stuff. So I'm 100% terrified. 100%. 100% terrified. When will you not be terrified? When the vaccine drops and all these (laughs) anti-vax people, it's fine if you believe that, but I'm like, when the vaccine hits, I'm Mm -hmm. pulling the fucking van up (laughs) and you're shooting all of us in the neck and we're going (laughs) on a skate trip right away. (laughs) <laughs> I'm not forcing I'm not forcing you to get the vaccine so right whoever's on. down for the vaccine get in the van we're gonna take it in the fucking neck or wherever they put it we're going on a trip we're celebrating right to the neck not a bad yeah. plan but I hope that they have like a preventative other than the vaccine For I would rather take what would you rather take the vaccine or some type of like Z-pack or some shit I'll do I don't care I'll do both I don't, do don't matter one. yeah I don't have a problem with the vaccine and everything it's fine who cares Raj who cares. Anti saying, Yeah. Not really into it. No? Not really. I'm but not I, into it either. Cares, though? I'm not into it. Uh, Kelly? So I want to build up my own tolerance. Wait, did you see the, la- the other option was a Z pack? No, no, no. I'm just saying something like that. Like, you know, when you're sick and you get a Z pack and you're like, I'm good. I don't uh, got the flu. He's basically saying, like, you'll get it, oh. but they have something to treat you with. Yeah. yeah so you're like, I'm, I'm down for a vaccine. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, I don't care. Yeah, I don't know. So Raj is just going to stay here. And all of us are going on this trip, and we're going to See, home. Guys, we're going you're, to, you're out. Go, we're going to Golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to miss it out on. We'll FaceTime Raj. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. We'll FaceTime him. Hey, but Raj, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm looking forward to the vaccine, but I'm not like, like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not against it by any means. I'm like, we need it. So, I mean, shit. What if everybody still had polio? Would you get the vaccine? But we could have all built up an immunity to it. <laughs> Not polio. <laughs> I'll take my chances out there. <laughs> so wait, let me ask you guys this, because it might come down to it, right? If okay. if you guys all get together in the same room, mm. are you going to make Raj get the fucking vaccine to come back to work or no? Oh, you're saying if that's the only option. If it's like we're all in the same room, everybody has to have the vaccine. I'm just saying that's how a lot of places are probably going to be when you go back to work and there is a vaccine. Yeah, but we're we're not really like we're just a podcast, you know. Yeah, but you guys might be, yeah, you, guys, like a, you guys might be corporate by the time this shit pops up. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. No, actually, we were just talking about that the other day, and we we're saying, oh, I wonder when you know when can we get back to you know being in the same room and doing the yeah. the show all together again, uh, especially the, the experience, you know. Yeah. Whatever with the the guests and everything, that's fine. Whenever that happens, that's cool. But you know, we we're thinking in the next week or so, maybe. Oh, I mean, really? It's opening yeah. up. Like I don't know. Yeah. Like I'm yeah. not going anywhere. Like we're I'm not gonna... doing anything really. I miss everybody, man. It's good just to see you guys on yeah. the screen. Who still comes over? Yeah, I, I cruise over to Rogers every. Well, I haven't yeah. been there in a few weeks, so maybe. But uh, I go once a week. Yeah, once a week. To, yeah. So we're still yeah. kind of in contact. So I don't know. It's just funny to see people out, like there's starting to be little gatherings at people's houses out here and you're starting to see it go somewhat back to normal, but there's, you just can't park down here anywhere. Well, it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to party with you guys. Like, I just want to film a show. You (laughs) know what I mean? Like, would you guys get in my van, drive across country, skate for two weeks? I'd do it right now. I'd probably go right now, to be honest. 
I'll see you guys when you get back. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you when you get back. <laughs> <laughs> go and corral every night. Let's go. <laughs> to be honest, like I have gone skating a little bit. My ankle's been hurt, but like going out and street skating has been pretty amazing because there's just there's nobody around. Yeah, there's no one yeah. around. And it's pretty awesome. Well, like you said before, Mike, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to go to the hospital right now. No, fuck no. Yeah, I don't want to go to the grocery store, Home Depot, none of this shit. <laughs> so when's the last time you left your house? I'm not leaving. You guys can check in with me anytime. I'll be sitting right here or the with the broken couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what? Okay, serious. Right, what what it, happens it, if the couch if the couch busts tomorrow? You can't sit there anymore. Can't sit. sit would you go to? Would I have the camping chair? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying you wouldn't go to like the furniture store and get oh, a you know go no. to shopping. Hell no. Are you lazy boy, you wouldn't go to the lazy boy I, store. No, I would. I would see. Well, here I'm even scared to buy anything. You wipe anything down with like uh, license. No, no, no. I'm scared to buy something. It's like, are we gonna get paid next week? Who the fuck knows? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Right, right, right. So like, I haven't bought anything except for toilet paper and snacks. Well, I think that's and, actually one of the things that with the this whole thing is I'm not no I'm not going. I'm shit. not buying shit either. Yeah, yeah, nobody's buying shit. And then yeah, if I if I had some extra money to buy a couch. Like it would, I'd leave it in the garage for like a week and then I'd wipe it down and then we'd bring it up. <laughs> you're on like Howard Stern paranoid. Like you're, you're fucking like, yeah, I'm fucking terrified. Reminds me, I gotta go bring my couch in right now. It's been up there like two weeks. <laughs> what is so he? he's getting the couch. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't, he says, I don't know, he's missing a couch from somewhere. And you need to go mm-hmm. right now. Dude, he's been drinking lots of beers right now, huh? Oh, maybe he's he got to, a piss. He's, yeah. he's, that's a, but, uh, See, then, Mike, this is why I want to get back in the house, man, because this would never happen <laughs> on the regular show. This would never happen. Get Just get up in the middle of it. Mm-mm, fuck no. But he's so comfortable here. At the high, you know, he doesn't care. See how they do when you let them work from home? You know? See, yeah. See. <laughs> yeah. Everybody says, oh, I'm going to work from home. No, 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 no. I've been working from home for years. So, well, I, of course. I, I like it. I enjoy it. But, like, I'm not hanging out with anyone. I'm not going to anybody's house. I haven't really skated with anyone, especially out here since I've been back. And then like, like, um, Burnett called me today. He's like, Hey, you want to do this? I'm like, nah. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to do. You know, I don't sure. know. I'm hey man, comfort- just, just, just yet. wait it out, bro. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, the world ain't going nowhere. We're all going to be fine. It's just not knowing when. Yeah. Well, we'll all be back and, you know, to the regular swing of things soon, you know, it's not going to totally go away. No, but it'll get, I think it'll get safer. I've seen a lot of <laughs> skaters still in the van and still like out filming like 20 plus people. Sure. And I'm like, whoo, I'm not shaming anybody. I'm not like saying don't do it. I'm just like, I'm just fucking like, wow, that's, I can't, I can't do that. I don't know. Maybe with the younger kids, it's it's easier for them. You know what I mean? Like they're 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 not. If I was 19 years old, I it wouldn't even enter my brain. I'd just be like, "What? I'm getting clipped? Yeah. yeah. But like, we're but indestructible like, uh, at that age. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So I don't know. That's why I'm staying away from those kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get that vaccine though. It's all good. I'm yeah. Be right out there at the spot hanging. The whole okay. Thing. Chili's just announces that. Everything is free for four <laughs> hours. I'm not going. I, I even I ran this by my lady the other night. Vaccines in the food. Vaccine in the food. I'm there. <laughs> all you, <laughs> I'm all there. you can eat sizzle. Yeah, I was just yeah, I'll eat this with the vaccine. Eat like th- I'll get, order like as much as I could possibly do, like four platters. Just like I'm getting the vaccine. I can't get like shoving it in there. Can't get enough. So, okay, so you're not going to Chili's even if everything's free. You can't even tempt me like if you were like, hey, like, I don't know, like, I can't even think of a scenario, but if someone's like, I don't know, hmm, you know, okay, like, come, come meet Martin Lawrence and hang out with him and go to dinner. Like, I'm not going. I think he's one of the funniest <laughs> motherfuckers in the world. I'm like, I'm not going. I can't do Martin it. Martin Lawrence. Yeah, not, go- not going. What if, what, if the, what if the cure was Dorian fruit? fruit? Ooh, is that that? Is that that? It's stinky- a really stinky fruit. I mean, if it's the cure, I would fucking put a straw on that thing and just like have at it. But like, tap into it. What if it was Domino's? 
Oh, that's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was fruit? Just like I, apples. Yeah, I get that. I, oh, uh, raisins. Yeah. Raisins. Can you put them in the trail mix? No. <laughs> no, just 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 a, straight raisins. Yeah, boxes of raisins. I mean, anything for the vaccine. Yes, I'll okay. do it. But it's like okay. <laughs> it's a hundred pounds of raisins. Yeah, I'm, I'll eat them as fast as I can, and while I'm eating them, I'll be driving to the spot to pick up all the homies <laughs> with 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 crates of of raisins in the back for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so when you left. Nor uh, when you left um, uh, North Carolina, Bob was doing okay. It was worried. I worry about. I worry about Bob. Bob will be fine. He'll outlast anything. Okay. <laughs> Bob. Bob's routine is this: he gets up at like four or five in the morning. I don't know why. He Bob is one of those guys. He can't sit still. He can't. The Bob has no chill. No so chill. So if if Bob was in San Francisco or New York. He would have already been dead. Not from the, <laughs> not not from the corona. Just from like he can't. You can't lock that man down. You can't. You can't do it. So he gets up before the sun comes up every day, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he does his emails or whatever he's got to do for work. Okay. And then getting close to lunchtime, he's like he's talking to me or talking to people on the phone, blowing off his driveway. His driveway has no leaves in it. He's just blowing it off, right? <laughs> and then. And then He's, he's doing that. And then he's walking up and down. And then he's like, all right, what time are we going to meet at wherever? It could be the empty parking lot. And we'll go and we'll skate for two to three hours. And then he goes home. He gets home by four. By like five or six, he shuts his phone down. He's totally done by like eight o'clock and, mm-hmm. and goes to sleep before. He might even go to sleep before his 10-year-old child. He's, he's, done. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, he's done. Then he gets up and has all the energy in the world, too. Wow! So and he he's skates. At... He skates every single day. He skates more than he skates more than half of the people on my teams that I pay to skate. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about just like a parking block, like any anything that's out. Skate there. anything. Anything. He'll skate a parking block, mini ramp, flat ground. Um, wow! You name it. Ledge. Yeah, very motivating to have some somebody like that around. Yeah. Because if if you want to go skate, they're they're out there skating. Bob's always yeah. down. He's always down. Yeah. The only thing that Bob like fucks me up with is that we'll just be skating and I'm not warmed up. He's been like, he's been skating the whole year. I'm like, oh, I haven't skated in a month and I'll get there. And then he'll bring out his camera. Like if he sees me do anything, if I'm like, <laughs> get into <laughs> a board struggling. Slide, if I, if I try to even just tap the end of a bench with a board slide, he's got his cameras like, yeah, next try. You got it right here. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it for the gram. And I'm like, dude, He's not. He doesn't want me to make it. He he wants me to like roll down the fucking streets or whatever. He's just trying to get <laughs> trying to get a gold. I was there for. This wasn't this last time, but when everything was good, maybe it was over the winter time. I was there for a month, and we went out and skated every day. And every day he did that, and he's mm-hmm. like, "You know what I got? You know what I'm about to drop?" And I'm like, "What?" He goes, "Your part." And I'm like, <laughs> "My part." What part? And he's like, you already got 50 seconds of footage. I'm like, oh, <laughs> 50 he seconds. Showed, he showed it to me, and it bummed me out so hard. I was like, don't you ever fucking show that to anybody. <laughs> Hit delete right now. This is straight <laughs> garbage. This is the worst shit I've ever seen in myself, and you should never have filmed that. And he's like, dude, you think it's that bad? And I'm like, it's worse than that. <laughs> Why? What was bad about it? it have you ever been filmed when you're not trying to film or even want to be filmed? Mm-hmm. That's like, what it is. It's terrible. <laughs> Was there anything in there that you were stoked on? No, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> that all sucked, but hold that one clip. Yeah, everything was everything was garbage. And it was like, I thought he was filming me to like, like show it to me. Like, you can manual this. Manual, I'll, I'll film it. And like I would manual it and like my board's like flexing down or whatever. <laughs> and, then, and, and then like that's a clip for the video that I didn't know I was filming. Like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, that's horrible. Oh, and then Bob yeah. put me in the tired video. Did you ever see my clips in the tired video? I saw that. That's yeah. right. Yeah, those were but, first try, by the way. <laughs> what were the clips? I didn't see those, but what were they? One of them was like, it wasn't even a trick. One of them was like, I like went up this pyramid and like popped the nose into my hand and then i like <laughs> i like took the board and slid the tail across the top of the ledge and then tried to hop back on it and just ate shit 
<laughs> and I was like, that was first try. And then another one, Bob was filming and there was a, a bike rack on the ground. So the flat bar was like this tall. So there was no way to even slide it. Or no, there was a pole on the ground. And I tried to uh, do an imaginary front board pop over, but basically it was just like lift my wheels up and then lift my wheels up. And I ate shit on that. And, then <laughs> and those were your clips in the, in the tired video. That, that was it. Yeah. Hey, he's still doing it though. You know every what I'm saying? Year. After all these years, still doing it. <laughs> every still every doing year it. that I go home for Christmas, I'm, I'm filming for the tired video. <laughs> and it's all got to be first try. There's no yeah. second try. What else do we talk about? I mean, we've talked about your potato walls. We've talked about. Uh, we did show and tell. You do. We did a house tour. What else I got here? Should we do a giveaway? So, <laughs> what do you got for give away? What? <laughs> what do you give? What do you got Should, for let's, a giveaway? Let's give away. Should we give the fucking hamburger phone to someone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't even have any. See how long I've been in the house? I don't even have a muscle. You can't even open it. Just uh, picture it's like a bag of chips. Okay. What oh, is the machine sick. flag? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. Give away the toy machine flag. And the hamburger phone or just the toy machine flag? Whatever you want. I throw something else. You want the guitar with one string? I'll give you that too. Oh, <laughs> shit. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to ship that. but uh. Oh, and the, and the tank. Can you ship these? Uh, I don't know if you could ship fireworks. I don't fireworks. know. That's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, we're still trying to be here next week. Next well, year, you guys have all the. Uh, you do all the Polaroids. Yeah, you could do a, a Polaroid of Milo. Well, can he yeah. sign it? Yeah, yeah, Milo can sign it tonight. <laughs> Toy machine flag, Milo sign. What about a pair of Nikes or like a board? <laughs> I, I like all this. I like all this other stuff he's got. Oh uh, yeah, camcorder. That's not going anywhere. No, nah, we got to keep that. Okay. Um, so there's Rolex board. Yeah, you want the Zorlac? You can't give the Zorlac board away, this yeah. Do you have any extra uh, Mike Sinclair Zorlac boards? There's one in the garage. It's like him. You can't, you can't, you can't see that. It's too, too <laughs> shitty. <laughs> you're, you're part of the bad Zorlac. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like that. It's like that bad footage that Bob filmed. It's the same. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to look for something. I loved watching people in their house. Yeah, just like searching for stuff. I mean, it's a classic. Should we give it away? It's streets on fire. Call. Huh? Or, oh wait. You, you trying to clean machine? out your house through <laughs> us? <laughs> the videos. These are the oh. most re recent videos that we did, but they're old. Okay. So we got souvenir. Okay. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That was yeah, good give one. Me a souvenir video. Yep. Souvenir. Okay. We can give you the one before that one was oddity. Oddity. Yep. Yep. Remember that, Remember that, that one? Was, yep. And then you want to go, you want to go classic? Let's do it. It ain't that classic, but remember the true blue video? Oh yeah. True true video. Blue. That was a good video. It's a video that put my business. We get a three. Yeah. We filmed, we tried really hard and filmed a, a video that we were proud of and then they pulled the plug. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> So it happens. It happens a lot in skateboarding for some reason. Uh, yeah. So we got Milo, autographed Milo photo. Okay. A video uh, three pack. Okay. Toy machine flag. Hamburger phone optional. You tell me. Okay. I mean, the fi hamburger phone's amazing. Yeah, that's good. I don't know if that's a. I don't know if you're, that's a keeper for you. Is this one big prize package that all broken up individually? That's up to you guys. Look, it's still. Still got the great box. Look at that box. Oh, you got a box for it. Yeah. Steak, Steak burger. burger. Yeah. Well, why don't we just do, um, leave a comment and we'll pick a winner on the experience show. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Will you send those up to us? Yeah, I'll set them up to you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> or maybe, I, you know what? I'm so bored. Maybe I'll drive them up to you. I'll text you when I'm outside and you just, I'll pop the trunk. We won't even touch each other you can just <laughs> we want to dress up for two hours yeah no I'll, here's what i'll do i'll put them all in a little bag and then i'll even put some hand wipes in there so when you get the bag you you get the bag with gloves and then you take the hand wipes and then you wipe the bag down and you wipe oddity down and you're good yeah <laughs> you're all good i'll drive up there this week i'll drive up there well i got a I got a meeting tomorrow. I'll drive up there this week. I'll I'll drop them right on your doorstep. I'm that I'm that bored. Mike Sinclair prize pack that we'll choose on the experience show this week. <laughs> do you want to um you want a random pair of 
of pants. I'll pick up. I'll pick out the worst or the best pair you want out of the closet right here. We want the worst be- and the best. Worst okay. and best. Hold, hold on. Let me see what I got. Just leave a comment below <laughs> in the Mike Sinclair prize pack. Damn, I got size. I got size forty in here, guys. I don't even know if we got any big <laughs> My God. <laughs> I see some green pants. Who, nobody wears green anymore, right? What do you, what are, are what, cargo what, pants. Yeah, what no, kind of these are they? definitely not cargo. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Let me see what is over here. Ooh, these guys sheen to them. You remember that shit? Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I have a pair of. Oh, these are classic. Danny Garcia jeans, Quicksilver. Wow. What? Okay. Look at that. Dope. Anybody ever want to look like Danny Garcia? Straight fit. You know right. I can't wear that. You know I can't wear that, right? <laughs> you can't. No, no straight fit. What size fits. are those? 38. 38. Okay. Big boy straight fits. <laughs> yeah. right. 38 by 32. Okay. <laughs> by 32. Okay, so, what else you got? Is that the normal size you wear? No, I can't fit in those. I think I need to. I need. I might be forty-five at this point, guys. I don't even know. Oh, I got green Volcom. I don't even know mm. what this is. It does not look that bad. It's pretty yeah. cool. But something they got some like scuff marks on them. I don't even know hmm. what that is. But I mean, that's just that's the weathered look, you know. Maybe they were rubbing up against a box. I have no <laughs> idea what these are. What are these bad boys? Hold on. Josh Harmony Ruka pants. Oh shit! <laughs> what size are those? Never been worn. They're probably fifties. Hold on a second. Let me check. <laughs> These, they're thirty-eight. Everything's thirty-eight like, over here. It seems like this was a period in your life when you were a thirty-eight. Thirty-eight was a nice size. Danny Garcia <laughs> on Quicksilver. What what year was that? I, who knows? But that's like ten years ago. Or something. Ten years. We're talking ten years old pants that you just literally pulled out of the closet right next to you I'll, i've been waiting to grow into those okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or grow down to them yeah grow, that's what i meant i've been waiting to grow back down to those. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's anything else i can throw in there you tell me i'll keep going i know it sounds well listen he's looking up on the walls <laughs> <laughs> throw whatever you want in there this is going to be great i mean you're you're obviously for the people you know so we'll do a comment yeah. raffle i'll throw a board in there too i don't know what i have but there will be a board in there wow this is yeah. getting better and better maybe throw in like the the colors you had on the wall for the what, what <laughs> color you're gonna put i can't yeah. give no i'll give you the runner up I, i'll campfire ash is going in the prize pack because i'm going <laughs> with, <laughs> right so they got campfire ash and then um, I'll, I'll do this I'll put a board in there. I'll throw a set of indies in there too because I'm venture for life. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We'll throw them in there. Just try some tensors. They might be old, but they're not used, so they're they're good. They're all everything about I the, have is everything I have sits on ice for a while. What about the fake uh, Tampa first place trophy that you made? Uh, if you want it, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take that away from you. You know, you worked hard for that. You could have that. Amazing, um, dude. So we got a comment raffle. Just comment below. Win, win a Mike Sinclair fucking prize pack. He's Blake Carpenter made this for me. He was bored in the van, and he said, this is you. And he gave me this little that's thing. That's pretty sick. That's on point right there. That's wow, yeah, dope. that's pretty good. That's you going can't in give, there. You can't give that away. It's going. Okay. <laughs> I So we'll see you tomorrow with the U-Haul truck. Wednesday. Pretty much. Yeah, Wednesday the with the U-Haul. I have a feeling he's just getting rid of shit. And using I mean, us as, a, as a using us as a as a shipping. A good a good home. Oh, how about this one? This is classic. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's gonna want this. You got like a Chili's gift card or something? No, I wish. I got a, a costume, costume bowhead. Oh, no, wow. that's that's sick. dope. That's going in there. I kind of want that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty epic. <laughs> you guys can use that on the set. Okay, if you don't receive some of the stuff in the prize pack raj because mike it. forgot it yeah well yeah yeah okay. yeah, yeah right raj right raj, right, raj. i'll mike send you guys it. up an assortment you can dig through it that's great though thank you bro you will be people will be stoked oh okay. yeah it's, it's for the kids man you gotta keep, keep it, the kids man. hyped i love I mean, what it, do you gotta bro. do just like and subscribe and leave a comment you just said it raj there you go like subscribe comment below ring the bell ring smash the bell smash the i'm bell. gonna do that too and if i win it back 
You guys got to keep that. <laughs> don't send it back. I don't want it back. <laughs> we're we're going to send it right that back. That would be incredible you. if his yeah. name popped up. Because we do it. We could do a um, comment rap. All, the, all they have to do is just comment and pick a winner. Boom. Completely random. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. No, well, just, we got to go, we, Mike, before we get into it. The longer we stay out here, the more shit you guys are going to get. So you just tell yeah. me. There's a fucking sewing machine in this room. I'll give that away, too. D- uh, shipping. We gotta, we, yeah, we got to ease up on the shipping, bro. Gas is like 62 cents now. Yeah, gas is awesome right now. I got I got gas for a dollar fourteen in Oklahoma City. Wow, damn, it's crazy. That's nuts. Well, yep. listen, bro, this has been incredible. Oh, got you. You got one uh, more thing to say? Go ahead. Are you adding something else to the raffle? <laughs> no, the, the the van to fill up the van at one point, I couldn't fill the van up for a hundred bucks in California. I would fill it up and then it'd be like three quarters. So you you, wow. you can't go over a hundred bucks usually in California. They just shut the pump off. Okay. Yeah. And and just before I left, I filled the van up. It was bone dry for forty bucks. Wow. Wow. Yeah, which is crazy. Cool. Oh, that was in Sick. North Carolina. <laughs> that was in North Carolina. So Oklahoma, I probably could have filled it up for like twenty eight bucks or something. Damn, <laughs> dude. It's pretty crazy. That's nuts. Yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> Need that vaccine, Raj. We gotta talk. I gotta talk to you about this vaccine. <laughs> Smell they're getting their immune to it. Hey Kelly, we're gonna get you on the panel. We're gonna get you on the panel when everything's back. We're you're a judge. I'm down, dude. This wasn't really a phone call to like get Kelly a job. You know, <laughs> this is more of like uh, let's talk to dude, like Sinclair. Hey, we're trying to get jobs over here, dude. Oh my god, unbelievable! <laughs> like you said, dude, you don't know when when you're getting paid next. You know what I'm saying? That's right. He was hired before this phone call, though. This was just to reassure that yeah, he was still on that you. list. Hell yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Okay. I don't you're know welcome. if I believe you, but you know. Okay. <laughs> Hey, and you got. Let me see that collection one more time. You got to talk um, so I can see it. Oh, see wait, it. my my board. So, yeah. So winning, that's legit. He's one of my favorite skaters. Mike mm-hmm. Carroll, of course. Um, so is that I, you it's my first board on expedition, so I just have that there, just because. And I only have seven boards here right now. And that's Jerron Wilson wall. from the chocolate video yep. graphic. Yep. That Coco. one's sick. Coco. And then it, that's Jason Dill's board, or not a? It's a FA board, but Jason Dill signed it. Oh, nice. And then a signed Gino Iannucci board, chocolate board. Oh, you know, I was cleaning out all the shit. I would have thrown it in the pack too, but I had a Gino chocolate sticker. I just sent them to Kenny Hughes uh, over the weekend. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. sick though. I'm a Gino yeah. fan for life. I think he's, I've never met him, but I'm obviously his style is like, you, you can't fuck with it. Impeccable. Yeah. He's you dumb, never met man. Gino? Never met him. Oh, it's a cool dude. I do. I remember this. This is the closest I came to meeting Gino and Nucci. It was Tampa 96, five, something like that. I had a I had the uh, the New York Geno shirt the uh, what is it the Rangers or the whatever it was graphic. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Islanders Islanders yeah yeah and I I had it on and then I remember Gino was walking towards me but I didn't recognize him but whoever he was with somebody on Girl or Chocolate kind of um, just like pointed at me and I was like what the fuck are they doing and but they're <laughs> pointing at the shirt and then I saw Gino look at the shirt that, that I was wearing and he was probably like Phew, like crazy somebody's shirt <laughs> early, early days you know what i mean yeah, yeah. i was a, I'm a fan still a fan so that was that was tight everybody's a fan of gino man yeah yeah damn and can he use for that matter yep i, I miss been, that guy you know the game pigeon on your phone the free games heard oh, about yeah. it yep. yep i've been uh playing uh pool with kenny um dude that and, game is so fun on that yeah, dude yeah every every night for like 10 games <laughs> are you pretty good i, I well i I don't want to say I'm pretty good, but I'm fucking him up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, that game's yeah. super fun. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about it. Everybody's talking about the game. I, mean, I, don't, I don't have it installed or anything, but. I'll send it to you. Yeah, it's just through text message. It's another thing that I need in my yeah. life. Send you that game pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> send me a free code. And you play a few rounds uh, against Mike. Yeah. yeah. Are you Are you on it? I'm not on it. We're busy, Mike. We don't have time for this shit. <laughs> you know, I, time I, got, shit. I got so much shit going on. <laughs> By that dent in the couch, I could tell. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that couch up. <laughs> that's where the game pigeons happening. Yeah, that's where the game pigeons happening, and um, that's where I watch all my videos. So you know, I got to watch a million. videos. That's why that thing is just—it's like a a dead body's been there. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but after the vaccine drops, you guys are welcome to come down anytime. Thank you, bro. Appreciate Thank that. You. And we will do that. Come, please. Yeah, gold, golden corral. <laughs> we have to schedule that. If if there's a time and a place when all this is over, all four yeah. of us, Golden Corral, we got to go. I've never been, so this would be a treat. Let's go, and then we'll do a, we'll do another live show 
And Episode 500 from yep. <laughs> No, we can't wait that long. But let's go, and then we'll go to Chili's for dessert. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so yeah. wait, you want to do No, we have to do Chili's for lunch. Okay. And then we go Golden Corral for dinner. Okay. Where do we go for dessert? <laughs> well, Golden Corral has like a chocolate fountain. <laughs> oh, oh, so you could you could just put your like the vet so the virus will be gone by that point. So you could just dribble your fingers in after the eating all that shit. Yeah, it will be gone. <laughs> Wipe it on your face if you want. Oh, it's an actual. They have a, a, a fountain. Uh, a fountain of chocolate. You put whatever you want in there. You want to put a marshmallow in there. You want to put a piece of pizza in there. You want to put whatever you want to put in there. Oh, it's just a free flown. You don't have to yeah, pay. That chocolate fountain is sketchy. Tires oh. like these. Yeah, back no. away from the chocolate fountain. So we'll chilies for lunch, Golden Corral for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll stop by a pink berry for dessert or something. You, I like Minchies. Minchies. Oh, Minchies. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, that's that's where you finish the night off at. Okay. Maybe we can go for a movie <laughs> later. I, I'm I'm down. <laughs> we fried after that too. <laughs> They're filming another Jackass. We'll just wait till Jackass comes out. So then we'll fucking puke. There you go. After. We'll laugh so hard we'll puke and all the, all the food will come up. I think I'll just be in a coma after Chili's. Last late movie I saw in LA, it was like a midnight showing. I went to see Pootie Tang with Kenny Hughes. I slept the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Did you go to Chili's before? No, I don't know where we went, but I had, to, I had to watch it again years later because I'm like, you know what? I didn't even fucking see this movie. Pootie Tang's funny. It is a funny movie. Yeah. But it sounds like a plan. We'll do Chili's, Golden Corral. We'll do Menchie's later. Maybe catch a movie. Just keep the keep that keep that chair handy. It sounds like a great evening, and you know I'm down for it. But hopefully, when I see you guys, I've lost a little bit of pounds, and maybe I could slip into these. Maybe there, maybe I have two or three pair of these Danny Garcias up in the closet. Who knows? <laughs> thirty eight. <laughs> hey, get down to your thirty eight waist. You know. Yeah, I need to get on deck down to thirty four. Long way down. Thirty four. I'm like a thirty two. So you got like a long way yeah, to go. I got a long. I'm not. Way I'm not saying. You, you know. I got a long way to go. Well, hey, you're drinking water. Not you know it's without the soda. That's a good start. To be honest, damn yeah. good start. Do you feel different? Uh, t- no, fuck no. <laughs> I walked to Home Depot for exercise yesterday. It was the longest I've ever walked away from my house. It's a block away. That was it. Was one point four miles. <laughs> oh damn, that's okay. good though. And then I walked all the way back, and I was like, dude, I'm I'm beat. Did you go in there? No, if I'm steering clear, I'm going nowhere. <laughs> Did you Hell get no. there and at least take a rest and before you had headed back? No, no, I just kept it going. I okay. figured if I stopped, I wouldn't keep going. See Mike on the side of the road with a white flag. <laughs> it is a busy street. It's a it's a it's a highly traveled street. I thought for sure I was going to get like beeped at a few times. I thought all the homies would see me. <laughs> is it El Camino Real? No, it's a. Uh, uh, I don't want to give it away, but yeah, it's close okay. to that one. Okay. Very close to that one. Well, I can't wait, man. This has been amazing, bro. We have a Mike Sinclair prize package. Those are trinkets from his house. Comment below. Subscribe, like, smash the bell, whatever it is. Pick on the next experience show. Did a house tour. Did a show and yeah. tell. Show and tell. Saw his dogs. Met saw Milo, the, the little Luna. Saw his destroyed couch. <laughs> Yeah, saw, saw eighth place, two thousand three. Saw yeah, his trophies and his camcorder. Yep, I get. I'm getting the camcorder working. Uh, I'm, Dan Stoling is a, a fix it uh, mm. genius, uh, so I think. Uh, okay. I'm gonna when I feel safe enough, I'm gonna drop it at his house too. Perfect. Well, I'm oh, just giving perfect. people a recap in case they just tuned in. <laughs> just the very end. They just turned on the radio and just catch, catch they us. They just tuned in. <laughs> Mike Sinclair podcast go right to the end. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've decided on the, and maybe next time we tune in, we'll have a new. Uh, cool blue. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, what is it? Good. Cool blue cool or slate. what was it? Cool no, slate. It's a cool, cool slate. slate. Okay. I don't know. Amazing. I'm kind of feeling gray marble now. I don't know, man. Look Get at it in the daytime. Light. Daytime. Yeah. That's daytime when, yeah. Daytime light. Look at that. Like, don't, don't do it under the, uh, the light. You were you were so hyped on getting some fucking crown molding. What if I just do that? I'll just paint it like that and put some molding in the middle like a chair rail. <laughs> just do that. That's perfect. There you go. No, I was just thinking the crown molding because then you could separate the, you know, you could have gray walls with the white going around the, you know, it look cool. Yeah. Just, but you have the baseboards though. You could do white baseboards. I got white baseboards. Yeah. So you don't need to touch those. Mm-mm. 
I love home remodeling, bro. We painted Raj. We, yeah. I hate it. <laughs> Fucking hate it. Hire Chris. He was a great guy. I will. Well, Susie gets that vaccine shot. He can come down here and remodel this whole shit. We'll do it, man. I'll put a nine club. Uh, do you guys have the? Uh, yeah, you got the neon, right? Yeah. 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 Hey, I'll, I'll put it in the window. Got a. Your neighbors will love it. <laughs> Uh, we'll get it going, man. We'll get it going. We'll do a, it'll be a whole day or maybe even a week, you know, painting, chilies, Golden Corral. I, I, I cannot wait. I cannot oh. wait for this shit to be over and all of us end up at chilies doing nothing. Love it. That's what it's all about, man. Doing nothing. And whoever wins these fucking Danny Garcia's, if they're really a size 38, they should film a big boy clip in these things. You, the, the thing is, if you win this prize pack, you have to do a trick that Danny Garcia did. Oh, oh my god. Wearing the Danny Garcia pants. Wearing the Danny Garcia jeans. So if I'm if I'm a 32 and I wear those 38s, wow. Yeah. Were they 38, 32? That, yeah, and that Danny Garcia's got that good nollie flip and the you just He's got a good everything. Nollie flip, no side hubba. Yep. It's and gonna man. be tough. Wow. So but they already won, but then they have to back it up with the trick. Yeah, you just gotta back it up. It would be much appreciated if you back it up. Right. There's no way we could enforce it. No. We We don't know who these people are. Make them send it back then we hit a clip. Send the hamburger phone back. (laughs) Wait, is the ham yeah, the hamburger phone's going in. That's up to you. You put in whatever you want in that little box. That's going in. Oh I can no I was gonna show you one more thing. Now fuck that.